Uh, Fantasy Star is an interactive adventure role-playing game. Will you take... It will take you on an adventure unlike any you have ever experienced. The objective is to defeat the evil galactic tyrant Lashik. I hear I hear Pathfinder is pretty good. Divinity is pretty good too. I love Baldur's Gate 2, but I don't like Baldur's Gate 1. I've tried to play Baldur's Gate 1 to Baldur's Gate 2. It never works out. I just get bored of Baldur's Gate 1. It's There's a lot of things that kind of bug me about it. But you can just start Baldur's Gate 2 without playing Baldur's Gate 1. It's, it's, it, it's, it's like a movie that has a really good sequel, but the first movie's like, eh, it's okay. It's just intimidating. Yeah, you really gotta like, um, I found the easiest way to do it was to set a lot of my companions to like AI and then find like good AI scripts for them. Mainly so they would attack, so I wouldn't have to keep telling them to attack. And then I could like just cast spells manually. Then it worked out pretty well. All right, we got to defeat the galactic tyrant Lashik. It's pronounced Lashik. People say it's it's um. Oh, hold on, I got to put this. There we go. There, there we go. Okay. Let's move it over here to this part. There, now we can see. <laughs> yeah, Final Fantasy Twelve tried that where your scripted party members with gambits. Ah. Uh-huh. Wait, wait, in order to do so, you will take a quest across the stars, seeking friends, magical items, weapons, and armor. You will learn much in Fantasy Star, both about the Algol system and about the true heritage of Alice. What is her true heritage? Is she a queen? In Fantasy Star, you interact with characters you meet. Wow. In the course, some will give you clues and valuable informations. Uh -huh. There is, oh wait, wait, I like this one. There is no one best way to finish the game. There will be many directions you can go. Not really. Like, wait, what do they mean? Many ways to, there's only one way to beat the game. There's only one way to solve the quest. You're really making it seem like it's open-ended. All areas should be explored. Important clues, weapons, and items can and will be found out of the way locations. It's not a game we will finish in a day. So it has a battery backup. Look out. Five separate continues. Nice. Look forward to many hours of fun adventure, including space travel and raging battles both above and below ground. Mm. Strategy and logic are the key to beating Fantasy Star. Prepare to match wits with the very best of the Sega Master. Good luck. And this is the plot. Oh, look. The, yeah. I could play it with an actual Master System controller, but that, that D-pad is awful. Let me look at more of this stuff here. Command menus. Uh, it looks like the manual was in black and white. Oh, here we go. Artwork. Thank God. Maybe I'll consult the manual a little bit more. We got, like, armor and stuff going on. That should be interesting. All right, is the, is the fucking screen capture working? Working yet or what? All right, so let me just put that away. Um... I, I opened up the capture thing. Was smelling them? Really? The, the goofy, like, uh, plasticky smell? Alright, there we go. Uh-uh. And you can have the FM soundtracking beat. You can do, you can switch it and have the PSG soundtrack. L listen to that snare drum. What is <laughs> that snare drum sound? It's like, it's so, like, because I didn't have a Master Somatic Game Gear, so that brings back a lot of memories. But here's the FM sound. On the Yamaha. So I think the main difference is, like, you've listened to that snare. Then you listen to the PSG snare. 
she like <laughs> very crushed and then this one it's like it actually sounds i mean it's still like staccato what about what about the battle music It's hard to say, I don't know which one I prefer more. Like, this one obviously is, like, more authentic. Like, this is how it would sound. But it also sounds a little silly. Now, this one sounds more next-gen. Yeah, like, see that part? That part, that boom, 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 that sounds... Whereas when you hear it on the other one, that part's a little, a little harsh. Oh, I bugged out the sound. I bugged it out. We're gonna double the walk speed. Hell yeah. We're gonna double XP and gold. Uh, Alias's hair will be black. The, well, the font... Uh... I don't know if I should use the Japanese... Uh, the Japanese font... I like this big, thick text, though. So, if we notice Alias's hair, she's got the... She's, like... She's got kind of a brown hair. But... Uh, she's got highlights. I think her hair is black, like, darkish brown with highlights. That, that's at least what I, what I believe. I, we're gonna go with the FM sound, the Yamaha sound chip. Spring, A.W. Residential District of Palma. Citizens of Kamenet, this boy's corpse is a reminder for all of you. Defiance of Lord Lashik will not be tolerated. It's gonna leave a dead guy here. Pretty neat, huh? Nero? Nero, what happened? Uh, I did. <laughs> hey, listen, my sister, listen closely. I don't have long. The rumors we've heard are true. Lashik has changed, and it goes beyond his military taking over our streets. All of the horrible creatures outside, all of the darkness in our lives, all the NFTs, all the crypto, somehow it all traces back to him. I tried to learn how, but I guess I got too close to the truth. There's only one option left now for all of us. Lord Lashik must be stopped. If he isn't, the darkness he's aligned himself with will claim all of all of all. My mistake was trying to take him on alone. These are dangerous people. You're going to need help. I've heard tales of a warrior, a man named Odin, who could be an ally. I tried to enlist his help, but he's gone missing. You have to find him, Alice. Is it Alice or Alice? Hmm. We'll call her Alice, because if it was Alice, they would have gave her a C. But then again, they spelled fantasy with an a with a P. Find Odin and defeat Lashik. Together, you can bring peace back to Argol. Oh, oh, oh. Alice, such a terrible burden. I, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me for asking this of you, and for leaving you all alone. <laughs> so, I think there is a prequel manga that explains some of this stuff. Hold on, you notice this visual noise going on here? I gotta... I'm gonna do something here. I think it's here, yeah. So to get rid of that, I gotta set the level a little bit lower. There we go, see it's gone. It was there, now it's gone. Then a little bit lower. It gets rid of some of the vibrancy of the color, but I find that... Yeah, there we go. Now let's save those settings. Hell? Oh. Gotta save it so next time I don't have to do that.
Okay. All right. Uh, back to it. Nero, your death will not be meaningless. I swear it. I won't let these monsters take our home. I, you know, I gotta get a better Alice voice for. Her. Watch over and protect me, big brother. I'm out. I'm off to kill the most powerful man in the world. Stab him right in the eye. All right, there we go. All right, so as we can see, the sprites have changed. Um, she looks like she has her armor, and it looks more like her armor than it would be in the um, the manual. And she has the brown hair with the highlights, so her sprite is more accurate to her how she would actually look. So this modded version of Fantasy Star, it's funny that people make mods for a Master System game, but not only does it give me double the walk speed, which is fantastic, thank God, and double XP and gold, but it also, you know, I also added a um, a sprite thing to change the. Uh, the sprite to be more accurate as well as the translation is better and we can get the Yamaha sound the FM sound off of it this is Alice's home Nero's things are still where he left him well we gotta sell him on eBay let's go talk to this guy some dungeons are pitch black make sure you always have a light source oh that's right I need a light source balls let me up the volume on the capture too I can't tell if that popping's the capture or the uh, or the game. If it is the capture, I'm just gonna restart the capture. It's easier that way. It's easier that way. Come on. Ugh, take forever. There we go. No, it's just there. That's scratchiness. That's just part of how it is. That's what it is. It is what it is. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, hold, hold on. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look at this map for a second. All right, I know there's no, what's it called, enemies in this. This is like a practice dungeon. It's actually a really easy dungeon. I don't even know why I went with the map. All right, where's the dungeon key? It's supposed to be here. Fuck yeah. All right, never mind. This is the Japanese version of the game, so I don't know like how accurate my maps are gonna be because they're mainly for the English version. Found treasure chest, yeah. Found Masetta, cool. Let's get out of here. Oh no, that was my controller. My PC controller, but not my Genesis controller. All right, here we go, that was pretty easy. Makes you want to play Wizardry or Kingsfield? <laughs> Wizardry. Hey, so like, um, the big, like, if you want to play like a modern wizardry, there's Etrian Odyssey on the DS. Uh, that game's really interesting because if, if you get the DS emulator, what you can do is, um, the, the top screen is the battles, and then on the bottom screen is like a little graph maze, and you have to like, actually do the maze on the bottom, like actually make your map. So that's kind of an interesting way to use the dual screen. I don't need any armor. Like, I've been playing it, like, off-stream on a real DS. And, uh, it's definitely grindy, though. It is, like, it is wizardry as hell in terms of the grindiness. All right, we gotta talk to this guy. He's gotta give us some pot. My name is Nikis. I was sorry to hear about your loss. Nero asked me to help him find a warrior named Odin. Are you looking for him, too? The last I heard, he was staying in a town called Sion. Maybe he's still there. Your brother also asked me to keep this pot safe for him pretty valuable maybe it'll help you on your journey here please take it i wish there was more i could do for you please be safe out there all right we got some lacronian pot all right <laughs> you can buy just about anything in port towns i even got a fake id once oh there's still a little bit of video noise up there yeah. uh. what is it special it's special gotta set ad level It's weird how, like, different... Oh, it goes away? What? What? Oh, great, now we got... My graphics, my graph, my capture device is like, What the fuck's going on? What are you doing? I don't know, I'm just messing with AD levels. Sometimes it, like... Weird. 
Alright, you know what? Fuck it. We'll just keep it there. Fuck it. Ugh. Oh, at some point, I, I might I might get the Mr. FPGA so I don't have to deal with shit like that. Here, I gotta restart the capture because it's fucking sound popping. Because, like, if I get a Mr. FPGA, which are pricey, they, like, if I assemble it myself, it'll be, like, 300, 400 bucks. But if I get it pre-assembled, it'll be, like, 600 bucks. I could play Neo Geo, Turbo Graphics, Master System, all that stuff. But I, can, I have the option of, like, um, not having to use an upscaler. Like, it'll be a really clean picture. Oh, that's OBS. It's coming up. But using the Frame Meister to upscale, like, I like the Frame Meister, it's great, but it does... Yeah, there's a lot of settings you have to dick around with. What's in here? Do you know about the planets? Yeah, old man, I'm not an idiot. Oh, okay. Fucking... Do I know about the planets? Of course I do, I was raised on this planet. Dickweed. Oh, I need to get a pass. Okay, the stormtrooper said I needed to get a pass, so we'll go get a pass then. Can you imagine the nerve of that guy? He was like, oh, do you know this shit? I'm like, I know all. We all hate screw. I know, it's like, there's too many settings, and like, I mean, I've had the Frame Meister for like six years, and I've been using it to stream and upscale to HDMI. And even then, it's like, still, I find out things about it. I'm like, oh, and then I, I mess with that setting, and it's like, oh my god. That's why this game's all zoomed in. Like, I figured out how to do that, right? Like, because normally, like, if you look at this game, this is what it looks like normally. Like, if I load in... See, this is what it looks like factory standard. It it just says no input. So, it's... Uh... <laughs> All right, that's S video. Come on. Yeah, so this is what it looks like with no tweaks at all. It just looks like this. This is the factory standard that the Frame Meister gives me for games. So notice the big ass border and the kind of muted colors and all that shit. So it's like, oh, okay, well, all right, sure. So what you do is you, you spend forever tweaking the hell out of it. And you do like some tweaks and shit to it. And you can download other people's tweaks, that's what I did. I downloaded the uh, Frame Meister Firebrand X settings, but even then I still tweaked it. And now you see I got it looking like this. So that's a lot better. <laughs> like, might be a little bit of a, uh, you know, jittering going on with the pixels, but I like this, it's not bad. All right, let's go in here. But then again, you know, that's the that's what you do when you have to try to play old systems on HDMI. Some dungeons have locked doors. You'll need a dungeon key to open them. Okay, that's an exit. The Frame Meister, I think, also applies a bilinear filter as well. So even though there's some pixel jaggedy going on, it's not that bad. Let's talk to this woman. A Alice, taking on the chic is crazy, but I know how stubborn and determined you can be. I won't waste my breath trying to talk you out of this. Just please be careful. If you ever get hurt, come back to heal. We've been neighbors a long time. You know, Suelo's home is always open for you. Please get some rest. Your brother would be proud of you, but don't overdo it, okay? Come back here anytime. So in Japan to promote this game, they had a manga which I think was like a prequel to this. Uh, there's also like adventure games released on, I think like their, Sega had like an internet like thing where you could download games. And there was like mini stories that you could play of certain events that happened. So it fleshes out the plot. There's also the PS2 remake of this game that has more dialogue. 
Algol is made up of three planets, Palma, Moltavia, and Dezoris. Each planet has a unique atmosphere, meaning they all have distinct characteristics. It's like Star Wars. But on your master system, Palma, as you know, is a planet of greenery. We are blessed with lush grasslands and forests. Moltavia's endless desert landscape is harsh, but beautiful in its own way. And Azorus is a planet of ice. Very little life thrives on its frozen surface. All three of our beautiful planets are threatened by Lashik's ambitions. Every day draws us closer to a crisis that can never be reversed. Never! Alright. But yeah, so... Um, this fan translation, like, uh, I use the addendum so we don't have all the dialogue. I would like for someone to do the get the PS2 dialogue and bring it in, and just for fun. Or maybe I should just play the PS2 version. Someone's translated it into English anyways. Alright, let's... One of the things I like about this game is you can save anywhere. They got seven slots to do it. Oh, enter my name. There we go. All right, now we gotta grind. Woo! Dun 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 dun. Troll house. <laughs> did, did it just fucking kill me immediately? <laughs> the very first monster. Oh my god. We gotta we gotta fight something easy, man. Like, come on. Oh, okay, so no random encounters there, huh? Any random encounters? There we go. Oh, yeah, here we go. These guys are... There's two of them, but they're not that bad. I can probably... I can farm them. So, ideally... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... I'm gonna grind near that one lady that heals me. Because, you know, I'm going to get in one fight, go back here, heal. So I can get at least level two or three so I can actually be decent. Now, we are getting double XP and double Masetta. The PS2 remake doubles the XP. I don't know if it doubles the Masetta, but I was like, fuck it. <laughs> like, if it, like, I'm so used to that Dragon Quest on the Super Nintendo where the XP and the, the gold were doubled anyways. So all this really does is cut out like four or five hours of grinding. I could just double the XP though, because I think that's what the remake does. The set is Sega. Oh shit, I don't think I'm starting to fight this guy. Well, maybe. Let's see. He does one damage, I do one damage. Yeah. It'd be nice if I did two damage though. This is really close. This might be a bad idea. Alright, I'm doing two damage. Alright, good. Scorpius! Sc Sc Scorpirus! Scorpinox! Thank God. You know what I hate is later on there are, there are treasures that are traps. And it's like, well, what good is that? Like, if I had a thief character that could figure out that it was a trap, sure. But I don't have that. So what what's the point of that? I hate games that do that. It's like, I don't know. Mr. Scorpio, don't, don't call me that. Call me Hank. <laughs> When Homer was working for a Bond villain. It's like, Homer, on your way out, could you try to kill a couple of these guys? And I like Homer kind of does. Alright, so I guess we'll talk game design of this one of the very first RPGs ever. Though I think when this game came out, I think, uh... Oh, fuck, we can't fight this guy. I think when this game came out, uh, Dragon Quest 3 was out on the NES in Japan, but not in the States. In the States, I think we just got Dragon Quest. But his family holding him back for a change? That's that's how it is. It's like if Homer's happy, the family's miserable. Homer is dest oh, like his family ruined his life. <laughs> okay, so game design wise, let's say you didn't know what you were doing in this game. Like you were you were just a kid in the 80s, you don't know what an RPG is. That's why that manual was explaining all that stuff about RPGs. Is it this shop? Because you gotta get no not this stuff. You gotta get the you gotta get the secret, right? To progress in the game to go through the spaceport and this guy sells the secret this was hinted by that one guy 
Yeah, the secret thing, right? It's hinted by that one guy in the last town where he's like, you can get anything at a port town. Like, I even got a pass, and you can't get past the guards without a pass. That pass is that secret thing. It costs 200. So you gotta grind to get 200 gold. The game teaches you this in the very beginning of, the, of, of how it works. I mean, there's a dungeon down there, but ideally, that's a bad thing to do. Just, just walk back and forth. Just grind the hell out of this. And ideally, if, if anyone's playing this today, I still recommend to download the um, the translation and patch the Ameri uh, the Japanese version of the game. Because the text is easier to read and, um, again, you have the option to double the XP and the gold. We are not strong enough to fight this. One of the advantages of living in the future and playing old games is that sometimes people fix them. They had to explain to everybody that never played Dungeons and Dragons. It was such a new thing, like, like a lot of RPGs were, for the most part, people didn't think RPGs would even work on 8-bit systems, you know? It's like, no, it has to be a PC, it has to be like this $2,000 PC, and that's the only way you could play an RPG. There's no way a console could do it. Yeah, you can go in this cave. Uh, there's no reason to really do it, though. I assume early players went into that cave, but you're so weak in the beginning that, like, you can't really get into these fights with, with all the monsters on the overworld. You can only really fight bugs. But like, look what this game is doing though. It's got a full background. Like, it's got animated monsters. I mean, it doesn't have multiple monsters, but... Animated monsters? An FM soundtrack? Like, this game literally blows out of the water any Dragon Quest or any Final Fantasy game on the NES. Like, this looks like early Super Nintendo RPG in the way it kind of does its shit. Like, this is amazing. It kind of shows, like... And it was, I think, one of the biggest Master System cartridges. I think it's, like, 4 megs. Because you look at, like, Final Fantasy 4 IV and 5, or, like, Dragon Quest uh, 5, the graphics aren't that much better than NES. It wasn't until, like, later on, like, with Final Fantasy VI and so forth, that we had way better graphics. So Fantasy Star at the time was was the graphical king. Because, you know, yeah, sure. You look at Final Fantasy IV, compare that to Fantasy Star II on the Genesis. Fantasy Star II kicks the shit out of those games. It was the graphical showpiece of RPGs on consoles. It kind of stumbled with Phantasy Star 3, though, but I think Phantasy Star 4 was pretty badass. It's the anime sort of way, um, the comic book type panels of how the story is told. Similar to here, we get to see close-ups of characters like that intro. We got to see, uh, you know, A-list react to that. We had these big screens, and every key moment there'll be, like, big screens, like, kind of cutscene-like. This is like the any- I know, that was- that was the Dragon Quest V engine! And that, and you know, the NES, the Super Nintendo has the same processing speed as the Master System. <laughs> if I get the chance, I, I'll, I'll play Fantasy Star 2 as well. That's one I never beat. Um, but there have been improvement patches for Fantasy Star 2 that double the walking speed and the XP and all that, so it would actually be more digestible. And more similar, you know, more... Because, like, what, what turned me off about Fantasy Star 2, I played it in, like, the 2000s when I was playing a lot of games on emulator. And, like, I, I got... The dungeons were getting too ridiculous, and there was just too many fights and too much grinding. So I never even got to the big plot that happens with Nate. Oh, we leveled up again. Cool. But I always wanted to play this Fantasy Star. And the reason I want- oh my god, we're in a fight already? Oh, I can kill this guy, yeah. We leveled up, so we do like a shitload of damage. And just like Dragon Quest, it seems like one level, or one sword, you do a ton of damage. So yeah, uh, the reason why I'm gonna- oh well, let's heal and then save. As I saw an article in Game Fan Magazine, and this was in the like, the-, um, the Mid 90s, right? And they they had a section called Graveyard, and in that section, they would showcase like an old game, you know, like a 
Uh, because it was PlayStation error, right? They would showcase, like, here's a Master System game, or here's, like, a Genesis game. And so, someone... Hold on. Keep the music up. Someone has scanned it, because I found... I found it. Yeah, let's see. Did I get it on screen? Yeah, here it is. So someone scanned the article. This is like um, a forum for Fantasy Star. Fantasy Star Cave message board. Someone put this up here. But yeah, it was called The Graveyard. Oh, uh, about there. There we go. And like, this was the article. It was like, December 1987, the month of the greatest 8-bit RPG of all time was released. Just a year before its debuted in, in 86, the first Japanese-style home console RPG ever was released. The 64 kilobyte Dragon Quest. Fantasy Star was eight times larger, four megabytes, which at the time was like saying a 256 meg Super Nintendo game. P.S. Needless to say, totally destroyed Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy, and every other RPG until Fantasy Star 2, of course. And like, look how they laid it out. They had the screenshots of the game, a little, a little actual artwork. Now, and the article would go on, like, Fantasy Star was the first RPG I ever played. I was 10 years old. It took me a year to beat. Playing through it again, what sweet nostalgia, took about 18 hours. A fair enough time for an RPG, even by today's standards. What I discovered during those two days was that Fantasy Star was and is my overall favorite RPG. I must admit that much of the decision is due to nostalgia and that it completely stands the test of time. Then he kind of explains sort of the time and, like, what will happen. Um... But yeah, they gave a two-page spread to Fantasy Star on the Master System at the end of their magazine. And I read this, and I would read it a bunch of times, I'm like, man, I gotta play this game. Like, this game looks killer. And I'm trying to figure out how they did these screenshots. They're a little blurry. But I'm thinking they used a PVM monitor to do them. But yeah, see, even at the time, they were like, uh, with most of you now used to flashy 32-bit 3D goodness, these shots must appall you. And I must admit, the conversion to CYMK, the color system used for the paper printing, harmed them badly. The game looks much better. But this game is no longer about graphics. At the time, however, they were quite shocking. Like, is this is during the 90s when it's like, oh, why play a game like this? We got PlayStation games. And they, they do this big spread of how awesome Fantasy Star is. Fantasy Star's gameplay and its dungeons, nothing else in particularly hard, and there are only six bosses in the entire game, none of which are difficult. The dungeons, however, though not difficult to point a madness like many PC RPGs, they can get up to 13 floors deep. That's how Breath of Fire 3 was for you? Ooh. All right. Let me get back to my, my editing here. Turn that off. Let me get back to the game. But yeah, I read that article. I was like, man, this sounds exciting. This sounds like the birth of a real RPG. Because I've tried to play Dragon Quest on the NES, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's tough. <laughs> like, it's got a lot of, like, pacing issues and stuff like that. That's why I played the Super Nintendo remake. It was just a better game. The Breath of Fire series, I'd like to play that. Uh, but I think I'll get the translations for it, because it, even though Woosley translated them, I don't think he did, most people would agree he didn't do as good of a job as Secret of Mana. Breath of Fire 3's pacing, that was, was 3 on PlayStation, or was that a Super Nintendo one? I know 1 and 2 were on Super Nintendo. I think I can kill this guy now. Breath of Fire is, it's, it's gone up even, there's like even PS2 versions of it, but then it kind of died. I guess Capcom was like, now nah, we just make Street Fighter now and um, Resident Evil. Maybe Saturn 2? I, you know, I gotta hook up my Saturn at some point, because there's an English translation of Grandia, which I know it's on the PlayStation, but that game was made for the Sega Saturn. Like, it's, it does stuff that only the Sega Saturn can do, and they had to like nerf some things for the P PlayStation release. Like some of the sprite animation. And I've never played Grandia either. I was I was so disappointed it didn't come out in English in the US that I I just refused to play it on the PlayStation. I was like, no. 
Oh my god. That might be something I might look into for my next um, RPG that I'll play on stream that, is, that isn't this or Fallout. Jesus. I also gotta like, maybe tweak my Frame Meister settings for my Super Nintendo a little bit. My Super Nintendo is like, there's nothing I can really do by how blurry it is. Because it's a Model 1 Super Nintendo and they tend to be kind of blurry. But maybe I can tweak the settings a bit on the on the AD level to get rid of some of the uh, weird color things going on. N64 was 3D PlayStation was sort of in between when it comes to power. Yep, that's, yeah. It's weird too, because it's like, the, the, the PlayStation's 2D capabilities are not as strong as the Saturn. So like, there's games on the Saturn, like Dark Savior, that you really couldn't do on the, on the PlayStation because of how big the sprites are. And I think that's what's going on with Grandia. They're, they had to cut animation. Like how they did with Street Fighter Alpha on the PlayStation. Like they cut out like 30 frames, 30% 30 of the animations from that game. They haven't run, whereas the Saturn version has all frames. But the Saturn can't do the same uh, polygons as the PlayStation can. You couldn't really have like a Tekken 3 on the Saturn. But... The Saturn's 3D wasn't that bad either. Like, I mean, a lot of the games ran at 60 frames per second, like Virtual Fighter 2, and at a higher resolution than N64 or PlayStation. Just not as much detail in the textures and stuff. And, and in some ways, the Saturn could compete with the Neo Geo. Which, like, the Neo Geo is a great system. Like, it's a 2D powerhouse, but it has no 3D capabilities. The Saturn actually has 3D capabilities, but its 2D is not as good as Neo Geo. It wouldn't be until, like, PS2 or Dreamcast we could come up to Neo Geo. Sprite Prologue? Yeah, because that's what Grandia is. It's like, the sp your characters are sprites, and then the world is 3D. But it's that weird Saturn 3D, that voxel 3D look. And I feel like that look looks better on the Saturn than on the PlayStation. When they ported it. The PlayStation can do transparencies though. The Saturn the Saturn's transparency is not so hot. You have to do something with the with the, the VDP2 chip. Because there are games that look fucking gorgeous on the Saturn, like Panzer Dragoon's Zwei. Or Panzer Dragoon, I believe Panzer Dragoon has a boss fight where there's a monster underneath the water and you can see him and there's pure transparency. Of 3D and 2D sprites. See, I part of me is thinking about playing more PlayStation games and using Duck Station, you know, the emulator for it. Because my I have two PlayStations and they're both broken. <laughs> but then again, if I go the Mr. FPGA route, I can just use the F the PlayStation FPGA core there, and then we got PlayStation. So part of me is like, I don't want to like play, because I played Silent Hill on uh, emulator, right, for um, for the stream. I learned a new spell. It didn't tell me what spell I learned. Oh, you have to, yeah, that's what I have to do with my PlayStation 1, but it's like a 50-50. I have to flip it over, and then it, 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 it'll run the game, but it'll be like super choppy sometimes. It's just unreliable. And then to get like a clean signal out of it, like, I think I can use the PS2... Uh, video cable component cable I have and then set it to RGB or some shit in Frame Meister, so it's possible. I just haven't played with it too much. Because I the, my first PlayStation is a mod chip PlayStation, so I can play burnt discs on it. <clears throat> so it, it would be really useful if I can get it working again. I'm just grinding here. That's all I can do. What level am I? Wait, I got a spell. What's the spell? Is it a healing spell or is it an offense spell? Heal. Okay, well, that, that makes me a lot more powerful. Stats. Well, we got enough Masetta to buy the thing. Well, let's go buy the thing, right? Like, because we need to get we need to get the thing so we can uh, get another party member. We got to get Meowth. Uh, am I strong enough to fight the bats? I guess I could buy a new weapon. No, I am not strong enough to fight the bats. 
I don't know the exact number, but I think my run is a 33% chance of escaping. So that means that one out of three, I will escape. So if I don't escape within three or four turns, then I, then I just got really unlucky. All right, let's actually talk to some people. I don't see, I think the only reason to go into the hospitals is to revive dead characters until you get a spell that can do it. To the north, past the present, is the pride of Palma, a beautiful knoll called Baya Marla. Baya Marle. Too bad nobody can get to it anymore. Do -de -do -do. This fucking He-Man technology where we're like, we're, we have like swords and shit, but we also have flying ships. Sci-fi fantasy. <coughs> Welcome to Scion, the busiest port on Palma. Or at least it was. With the world the way it is lately, there isn't much trade going on anymore. Oh man, you made me depressed. Doink! Not a lot of Lashik's men here though, they don't have much of a presence, but then again, it's not the capital. Get that Zyconian armor. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do it. I only got 288, we gotta go get a party member. Unless a party member splits my XP, it might, but it's still worth having it. Because we gotta go get Odin's son. I used to go spelunking in Nyla Cave on the coast north of Baya Marley. With all these monsters suddenly appearing, I can't go near it anymore. I just can't. No. Oh. The only way to open a door sealed with magic is to cast a spell of your own. Cool. So in the Japanese version of this game, there are three women that have specific names. And they are alluding to... I think testers or people that worked at Sega. So there's one chick that's like the phone operator for the health line, or not health line, help line. And then there's one that's um, for like uh, one of the head testers or something. And one of them's like one of, the, one of the assistants. So they were taken out of the PS2 version, I believe, but they should be in this one. Hopefully we find all three of them. They're just like an Easter egg. We're not the only intelligent life in the Ogle Sarla system, you know. Moltavia has Motavians, and Dezorus has Dezorians. Oh, imagine that. Some even speak our language. I'd love to have a conversation with an actual alien someday. One of the girls is the girl that asks you if you like Sega games, and you have to say yes. And she's like, of course, everyone loves Sega games. If you say no, bad things will happen. Why would you be playing the Master System unless you like... I like this dock. Look how detailed it is. Man. <laughs> Wink. Did I talk to this person? Yeah, Odin was here. He said he was heading south to slay Medusa. I haven't seen him since. He wasn't alone, though. He was traveling with a talking animal. I couldn't believe it! Blew my mind! It had a bottle of important-looking medicine on its neck. I wonder what it's for! I like, I like how uh, Meowth can't open the bottle. Isla Cave lies on the peninsula southeast of here. Neat. This is going to sound crazy, but I found a talking animal wandering around Medusa's dungeon. I sold it to a trader in Paseo. The little guy was worth a fortune. All right, so these are the hints, right? We get, we know that Nero, you know, Elisa's brother told us to find Odin. Odin has a talking animal or a cat. So plot-wise, we know all that stuff, and we could assume that the cat was sold to someone in Paseo, so we gotta go to Paseo, which the only way to do that is go to the spaceport. But we need a, a pass to go to the spaceport. The Epi Woods are too confusing to navigate, you need a compass to get through. That's, that's for later, I think Odin has the compass. But yeah, the main goal is to find Odin. So... I guess for the story to make sense, I should actually, instead of trying to do like the, the optimal run, I should actually do what you sh you're expected to do as a player. Which maybe that manual was kind of right with the, there are many ways to play the game. Like if you already know what to do, just go get the thing and go to the spaceport and go get, go get Meow. Meow. But, um, ideally the player would have figured it out had he went to this cave. God damn it.
I think I need to buy, like, a, a flare, though. To go into the cave. It's like Dragon Quest. I need, I need a light source. Oh, I might die. Oh. You know what? No. Uh, we'll fight him. Holy shit! That was close. Wow, I forgot I can heal, too. Let's do that. That was real close. Yeah, we'll use both. Fuck it. Maybe I should play this game with the Master System controller. I mean, I bought it. I don't do anything with it. I'm using my wireless Genesis controller. <laughs> Make it more authentic. All right, let's go down in the cave. Let's go find Odin, Medusa's cave. Even though Medusa's not here, you fight her later on. Oh, that's right, I need to... I need to go get a thing, a flashlight. Let's see, who sells the flashlight? Is it this shop? It's like a food shop, an item shop. All right, this would be here. Searchlight. Might stock up on them later, but I think I only need one. Maybe the batteries go out or some shit. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me just uh, check out my. I got a map. Okay, that's good. All right, um, let's use an item. Searchlight, use it. Cool. Yeah, yeah, blue, 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 blue. Oh, am I strong enough to fight slime? If I'm not, I'll probably level up. I'm, I'm kind of strong enough to fight slime. I like the animation on the slime, it just wiggles. You gain eight XP. How much gold does it give me? A decent amount. Found a treasure. You want to open it? Yeah, it's... Okay, so we got the treasure chest. Uh, I'm going to use a different save for dungeons just in case I die in the dungeon. Um, we'll just name it Dungeon. I guess they want, want it to enter your name if you had, like, siblings that played the game, you know what I mean? But... Really, what you should do with this is just uh, make a different one. We'll just call it Dung. Fuck it. I'm not gonna spell out Dungeon. Go here. We'll go down here. So the reason I'm not drawing a map for this game is I don't have any graph paper. I'll buy some later. And I'll use the graph paper when I play uh, Shining in the Darkness. I kind of want to play that. But this, um, I tried to graph paper this game out once, and I fucked up, and then I got really pissed off, and that's why we're using maps I find on the internet. You know, like when you fuck up a map, or, or the worst is when you fall down a pit, and then you're like, oh crap, or when you try to map the map out, but use a corner of the graphing paper sheet, and then it turns out that the map is way bigger, and so you have to, like, make another connecting map. That's the only thing that really annoys me about making maps. If it was like I always start on the top left or some shit, then it would be easy. Alright, the maps I'm using are from uh, Shrine RPG Classics. Too, in case anyone wanted to know. And apparently, according to the legend, there are false walls. So that's fun. So even if I didn't map it out with graph paper, I'd still be like, fucked, if if I didn't know that there was a false wall. I got the Masetta. So, we need to find Odin. That's basically what Nero said, so that's kind of the quest. I'm gonna run away from this guy, man, like... We can't fight two of them. 
like how you back up a square. I'm kind of glad, though, that these dungeons don't exist in the Genesis versions. Like, it's a cool feature. But it's also, like, it makes these, like, dungeons kind of annoying to do. It's way easier to navigate a top-down view. Alright, so we go here. Oh, what in the world? Something turned this person to stone. Maybe he can be returned to normal. And so we know Odin's here. Oh, Oh, maybe that medicine around his pet, his weird animal's neck is the, what we need. So, and also there's no excuse to not have an auto map in these games anyways. Because there's a game on the NES called Tombs and Treasures, and it ha it's a first-person dungeon crawling game, and it has an auto map. So they just chose not to give you a map, like in a lot of these games and on the Genesis and the Super Nintendo and whatever. Because it could be done on the NES, so it could definitely be done on the Master System. They just don't want you to have one. They wanted you to buy strategy guides or something. Hmm, this might be bad. Run! Alright, we did it. We don't have enough magic or health to continue fighting. We gotta run every encounter. Alright, now we're out of here. Blue, 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 buddy, blue, dee, blue, 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 blue. Uh, can I fight it? Uh, yeah, we'll see. Let's see. He does one damage. I do one damage. No, we're not fighting him. Let's go over here and heal. Hey, how much money do we have? 400. Okay. That should be enough. We grinded pretty well. Uh, cost 200 to buy the thing. What's what do, what do they sell here? They just sell that? Okay. I'm gonna have to buy another searchlight, but I'll buy it later. Welcome to First Food. Why is it called First Food? You didn't translate it? It's supposed to be fast food. First Food doesn't make sense. It's a translation error. It's supposed to be called fast food. Whatever. I can get a cola or a burger. I'm not gonna use any of these healing items. Why? Like, what's the point? I'm gonna waste my money. I got a heal spell and I got a person that heals me in town. I don't need that. Uh, say, do I have a shield? I don't even think I have a shield, right? She just. <clears throat> Good luck. I think she has armor and a sword. Which. Short sword. So she picked up that sword. Was it Nero's sword, but it was broken? So it's like a broken short sword. And she's got leather clothes. Yeah, so she doesn't have a shield. A shield's like 30. A shield... We can afford that without busting the bank. Uh, no. Wait, I gotta equip the shield. How do I do that? Do I go here? Yeah, that's it. Doesn't tell me my increase, though, so I'd have to equip it and then look here, but, I mean, having a shield is better than no shield, so... That's, that's um, a minor complaint I have, is that you don't really know what items are more powerful until you equip them or buy them. But you can just assume that the expensive items are the better items. I mean, that... I won't do much more damage. And, yeah, I can't fight this guy. I need a better sword. Two of them? No. They're a man-eater! What? Really? I can fight one of them, maybe. Yeah, one, one I could take. 
Well, actually, not that hard. <coughs> you gained six XP. Twenty-six meseta. All right, let's go over here. So, we know this guy's doing illegal stuff, but we gotta talk about the secret thing. And he'll be like, "I don't know who you think you are, but don't I don't sell stuff like that here. Forget it." And it's like, "You want some pot, bro?" It's like, "No, man, no, I don't just like you wanna." Want to sell me your secret thing, man? Give it up, will ya? I already told you, we're a legitimate business. Get out of my store, and then he throws you out. And then you're just like, all right, well, I'll just keep going back in. Then you just keep asking about it. And then the third time, he's like, all right, man. You're not gonna give up, are you? Fine, just take it. One road pass, signed and certified, but you didn't get this from me, understand? You didn't buy this from me, bro. All right. Need Let's see, do I have 200 Aceta. Is that enough to buy? I might be able to fight two of these guys. Yeah, I do like six damage. Gain 12 XP. Do you want to open it? Sure. Oh, these guys don't even do damage anymore. And they get killed in one hit. Oh, well, sometimes two. Oh, really? Hmm. All right, we might be in trouble. Luckily, I'm faster than them, so I get initiative. Does it tell me, like, when I level up here? Let's find out. Experience. No, it... it yeah, I don't think it does. I don't know how long it will take me to level up. Not the biggest deal, but... <clears throat> Talk to this chick. Armor shop, yet he has swords. Oh, he does sell armor. Okay, he just... Alright, where's the weapon shop? Is it over here? <laughs> no. Oh, that reminds me, there's another part... There's another... Uh, area in the capital city. I haven't gone to it yet. Let's go to it. I totally forgot about it. You go down here, and then you go over here. Uh, and then you talk to these guys, and they're just dicks. Main inside the residential. It's not safe for citizens outside. Bloop. Did you know there's an underground passage leading west to the Gothic woods? It's supposedly somewhere nearby, but I can't find it. Where could it be? If you're looking for a port town, Cyan is just east of here. Okay, so that's how we'd find out about the port town. One of those stores is a weapon store. Rumors are going around that Medusa has returned to her cave just south of here. They say one look turns you into a living statue. That can't be true, can it? That explains why Odin's a statue. The forest is especially dangerous lately. Be careful if you head that way. Our spaceport flies directly to Paseo, the capital of Motavia. I'd love to go someday. I've never been off planet before. Never gone anywhere in my entire life. Welcome to Perilit, residential district. Okay. She just tells me what it is. I, you know, I don't go into these. Are they churches? Oh no, it's definitely a hospital. No. What tools do you sell? What is the light pendant? Does that mean I never need a searchlight? I'm guessing that's what that is. Like, if I have that, I never have to turn on a searchlight. <clears throat> fast food? What, what fast food do you got? You get the same cola and burger, huh? Armor! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right, so I can buy the iron sword. For about 320, I could buy the titanium sword, though. Let's let's try to get the titanium sword. Cause why get the the one like the one upgrade of the sword? Why not get the skip ahead a generation and get the other one? Should be able to do it in a couple of fights, yep. Yeah. Then maybe we'll even level up too. Oh, it was a trap, that sucked. See, that's what I mean, it's like, why have stuff that's trapped? I don't even know, as a player, I don't know, and there's no way I can, like, disarm the trap, it's just annoying. Like, it has nothing to do with how good I am at the game. I gotta fight stronger guys than that, though. I'll go in the forest. The forest has a better encounter rate. Oh, there's some grassland. I wonder what that's like. Oh, it's the same assholes. <laughs> Shit, we, if only we did one more point of damage. Alright, Aelis leveled up. Oh, we got a new spell. What? What is it? Is it like an offensive spell? Doesn't tell me. Oh, I gotta go to stats. Buy. Oh, so I guess buy is like I can escape. More of a you you uh utility spell than an actual attack spell. Restored. All right, so thirty-five. I don't want to go on the beach, though. For some reason, there are very powerful monsters at the beach. Like, ridiculously powerful. Or maybe her name is Alish, because it's Lashik, you know, the guy with the two S's. Oh, maybe when there are two S's, it's a sh sound. Elise, yeah, Elise, yeah, we'll go with that. We'll just, we'll just call her Elise, fuck it. It's easier. Do I have enough money to buy the, uh, a sword? Let's find out. I, if I, if I don't, maybe I can sell the sword I have to get it? Oh, it's, it's the left one. It's this one. Get in there. It says it's an armor shop, but he sells swords. Oh, I could get the ceramic sword. I could just... No, nah, no. Nah, just... Right, what sucks is one of those old school RPGs, so you gotta do this. Hey, what's up, Ginger Vitus? How you doing? How much more do you think the sword does? Let me look. Attack 19. All right. So, let's say I equip this sword. I'm doing pretty good. I'm just playing this. I had the night off. Attack 36! Oh, wow! That is a huge difference right there. Yeah. Almost double what we were doing. Or it's close. It's like, that's a huge increase in damage. Can I sell the- sell something? How do I sell shit? No, okay, so I gotta go to, like, an, a certain shop. I mean, I can't sell anything at a fast food place. Maybe the tool shop. Maybe I can sell stuff there. Ah, there we go. 15 Masetta, sure. Oh, man. 
Ring, ding, 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 ding. All right, let's go up here. I guess we'll continue with the plot now. We've gotten everything we need to get the, uh, the cat. I mean, the, the animal. I don't know. It's a cat. What's that? These guys that their sprites on the map have axes, but when I look at them in first person, they have like laser guns. Okay, go on through. We to the Jetsons. Meet the Jetsons. Do 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 do. Stuck to this. I guess they're smoking cigarettes. I don't know. Oh, it always looks like they are. Ever been to Gothic? Back in the old days, ships like these were built in its laboratory. That's a hint for the future when I need to get my own spaceship. They're hauling around Tectris blocks. The governor rules all of Motavia from his office in Paseo. I hear he likes sweets. Up here. There we go. Welcome to Palma Spaceport. Daughter Judy! I like when Jay and his wife, it's like it just plays chopsticks and then she takes his whole wallet. All ships travel one way to Paseo, the capital of Motavia. You ever see the Jetsons movie that was like released in like the 90s or some shit? I think it was either like 1980 or 1990, something like that. But what weirds me out about the Jetson movie is that there are aliens. And as far as I know, there are no aliens in the Jetsons outside of um, Elroy's pet, you know, his goofy springy pet thing. And then all of a sudden, they, you know, because I guess G uh, George has to take a job at a space station. And he goes there, and there are aliens, and no one says it. And it's like, oh, I, so this was always a thing? I mean, I guess it makes sense. They live on Earth, so they maybe there's not that big of an alien population. But from what I gather from the Jetsons, they, there was no other intelligent life but humans. But I could be wrong. It's not like I went around and watched all six seasons of the Jetsons. You know, I, I've, uh, my memory of the Jetsons is when I was a kid or when they were on Boomerang or something. I got to apply for a passport. I'm required by law to ask you a series of questions. Have you ever been convicted of a crime? No. Are you suffering from an illness that may be contagious? To no. There, there is a handling fee of a hundred. What? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't have enough money. God damn it. Son of a bitch. How much money do I have? 71. Okay, I just gotta go kill like a couple of monsters. We're good to go. You need 200 to buy the pass, and you need 100 to buy the passport. Which I did have. I mean, it's not like I'm, I didn't. I just bought a really kick-ass sword. Let's go see how badass it is. Never watched too much Hanna-Barbera besides the Flintstones. Not even the unkillable Scooby-Doo. Oh, wow. One hit? Dang, yeah. this is That was a great investment. Some of the Jetson games on the NES are pretty good. Like, it's weird, the Jetsons got an animated, uh, like, movie, but I don't think the Flintstones ever got an animated movie, right? Not like a theatrical animated movie. Better Scooby-Doo and Yogi Bear? Oh, SWAT Cats? I- The thing is, Hanna-Barbera just became Cartoon Network, you know what I mean? Like, I count Dexter's Lab as a Hanna-Barbera cartoon. A lot of the guys, like Genny Tartoski and them, were animators on Hanna-Barbera. But I think SWAT Cats was like the last, um, when they were still using the Hanna-Barbera logo, because remember there was that in that Johnny Quest cartoon that was like, they go into the Matrix. <laughs> that was really bad CG. So it basically is, uh... George Jetson. There's the, the infamous Flintstones meets the Jetsons, I think that was 1980. And became the forefront. Oh. I don't know why I made that noise, but we're going over here now. I kill these swarm. Swarm. With an O. Magic missile. Rugrats or a few other cartoons. 
Oh, Rugrats? Rugrats was like that show that just never died. Like, the first three seasons are really fun. You know, like the one where the, uh, the parents take the Rugrats to the, uh, theater to go watch... <laughs> to go watch the Care Bears movie. I mean, it's not the Care Bear movie, but we know it's the Care Bear movie, right? And they, they have no interest in watching the Care Bear movie. They want to watch Riptar, which is just Godzilla. All grown up where they're teenagers. <laughs> I think the Rugrats got bad, at least for me, when they jumped the shark was after the Rugrats movie and then Tommy got a little brother. And I was like, ah, oh, nah. <laughs> you missed the brilliance, because the best part about those first couple of seasons was it was not just about the kids, it was about the adults. Because Stu at the theater, he's like bawling over the fucking Care Bear movie. He's like, oh, oh will they be okay and shit? Like, because they get kicked out of the theater, I think, because of their kids sneaking into the Riptar film. And they keep trying to push that, and the kids like, kids don't want to watch the Care Bears, they want to watch Godzilla. Why, <laughs> you're fucking garbage? <laughs> and, like, I, I feel like that episode rings so true. I always liked how, um, what's the mom's name? Dee Dee? Right? Like, how, how she always had to consult that stupid book by Dr. What's-His-Face about how to raise their kid. And then I think in one episode they meet the guy or go to his guy and they realize this guy doesn't know shit about children at all. <laughs> I only wanted to play the Reptar, the Reptar stage. <laughs> uh, she's one of those moms that always has to consult a parenting book or some shit. <laughs> Oh, man. If they, they were written pretty well, I think. All right, we got enough money to go buy a passport. Oh, I need a passport. Fuck. Uh, no. Forgot to buy the passport. Dee 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 dee. Let me go over here. Yes. This is like the language barrier thing, right? If you didn't read Japanese or English or whatever and you were playing that game and the editor is like, Oh, I don't know how to... Cause you know there are those weirdos that played RPGs in, in the States, they would import Japanese RPGs and then play them in Japanese, not knowing Japanese at all? I'm like, at that point, like, what's the point of even playing the RPG? Like, what, for the combat or the graphics? Like, what are you doing? I don't want no burger. Burger. Cola. Cola. Burger. Go on through. Burger. Cola. This is a non-stop flight to Motavia, getting on. Oh, the jet engine, I'm deaf! Nuggets. Burger. Burger. Cola. Oh, here we go. Gotta take that Dragon Quest. This game has multiple planets. Bloom. All right, we're on Tatooine now. We're not gonna stay here long. We're just here to go pick up something. Talk to the baggage handler guys. This is Paseo, the only spaceport on Motavia. It's antlion breeding season. Be careful out there. They get vicious. Who's breeding them? I like how in, the, uh, in Fantasy Star 4, I think it starts in this planet. Fantasy Star 4 has a lot of callbacks to Fantasy Star 1 and 2, primarily because Fantasy Star 4 was the last in the series. I mean, I know there's the Dreamcast ones, but they're they're in a different like timeline and a different planet and all that shit. They're not the same thing. Um, and also, Fantasy Star 4 was supposed to be the last Fantasy Star. I hear there's a cake shop in Nala Cave on Palma. I wonder if he gets any business in a cave like that. I know, right? It's like the designers of the game knew it was really stupid to put a dude where we have to go buy, get a cake from him 
in a dungeon. They were aware of it, and yet they did it anyways. What does the church do? Like, you, you gotta figure you heal yourself at the clinic. What does this do? Does, I guess it revives the dead. Oh, okay. All right, so... Oh, no, it also tells me how many points I need to level up. All right, cool. So there is a way to check how many points you need. I don't think I can leave the space. Oh, no, there's no reason to. We gotta talk to this guy. Even the governor is on b bad terms with the Sheik. Oh, he could be a potential ally. Perhaps we should bring him cake. He's got a sweet tooth. Oh, guard's asleep. So yeah, um, we can't see the governor until we get cake. So we gotta go to that one dungeon and go to the cake shop. So... We'll have to come back here later. Malha Cave is located in the mountains north of Paseo. Neat. What do you got? There are intelligent monsters, but they speak a different language than ours. So we kill them. They all die the same. Like pigs. You need to bring a gift if you're going to meet with the governor. Yeah, see, I need to go get a cake. Governor's kind of an asshole like that. Kind of a weird way to do politics. The governor has got a real sweet tooth. Oh. There's no way to get past the ant lines on foot, but I've heard there's another way. And then we I just walk out. I don't let him I don't like hear what the way is or any of that. Oh, Motavia's capital. Okay, that's why it has a spaceport. Uh-huh. So let's go into this shop. Welcome to the tool shop, may I help you? What can I get for you? I can get another passport that I don't need. At least I hope to God I don't need another passport. That would be really stupid. Welcome to the armor shop, can I help you? What do you got? Diamond armor, oh my god. That's expensive. It's probably here, this is where I need to go. Ever seen a talking animal before? I got one right here, real rare. Might be the only one. 10 billion Masetta and it's yours, how about it? No, I don't have 10 billion, who the fuck, who do you think you are? Hold on now, is that pot? How about a trade? The pot for the furball. Like, yeah, sure, I'll trade some pot for the cat. Yeah, I hate to see the little guy go, but I can't pass up a good trade like this. Take good care of him. The pot was worth that much, huh? A billion Masetta. Oh, here we go. Here's one of those cutscenes. I guess we're companions now, huh? I'm Elise. What's your name? Meow. Meow. Wouldn't it be funny if it wasn't a talking animal, like it wasn't a talking cat, and it just goes meow? <laughs> and then she's like, I got ripped off. <laughs> I got real screwed. <laughs> That'd be the best. Hello, meow. Wait, hello, meow. I'm looking for a man named Odin. Thor's son. I mean, no, Thor's father. Rumor has it he was traveling with a talking animal. I don't suppose that was you. Well, you see, I'm like the only talking animal, so... Odin got turned to stone trying to slay Medusa. We can heal him with this medicine, but I can't open the lid. Why did he give me the medicine? Why didn't he just have it on him? I don't have thumbs. I'm a cat. I think I can manage that. Come on, let's go help him. All right, now we can go get Odin. Look, we got, a, we got Pikachu on our team now. We're kicking butt. How much money do we have? Not enough to buy him armor. <laughs> wait, we can talk? Oh no, wait, no, that's um, that's one of my magic spells apparently. Can I? And I dance, dance, dance. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. Let's get out of here. We need to get get meow. Okay, but that animal can't come through customs. Do, 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 do. All right, now let's go back. Get the space traveling. Oh yeah! Dun, 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 dun. And Alice and Meow had a great conversation about how Odin sucks. Meow's like, he's so bossy, and he always tells me what to do, and he never cleans my litter box. He's 
are like, oh, I see. Do 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 do. You know, like like Meow and um and Odin have a Kiff and Zap Brannigan relationship. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. Now they don't. It. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god! Oh, wait, are we healed? Yeah, I didn't go into any battles, so we should be good. We could easily. Oh wait, no, I need a searchlight. Fuck. What is it? Is it this one? Now we can go in the dungeon. Go in the dungeon. Oh, we gotta fight the random. We got four of them. Jesus. Uh, meow. Meow doesn't do that much damage. He'll level up fast though. They keep licking the cat. Okay. So it looks like when you have more party members, you get to fight more enemies. Now we're making big money. Oh shit, I, I was trying to go back to heal. Are we strong enough to fight the killer plan? Yeah, we are. Chat, would, would that work on a plant? Oh man, attack the chick that has armor, not the cat. There you go. Yeah, it'd be great if you guys would focus down the people who have less health. Was it just 24 XP? Yeah, we're gonna have to go back. We're gonna have to go back to the town. Son of a bitch! Alright, this ain't too bad. Scorp Scorpirus. Scorpirus. Yeah, Meow's gonna level up a lot faster. Just because he's already- I think he starts at level 1. leveled up cool my top three retro games uh i guess like doom fallout 2 and let's say chrono trigger yeah let's go with that it's really hard to say like out, out of all time because i feel like those are the ones i come back to well, I guess if I come back to, let's just say, the entire Mega Man series <laughs> instead of Chrono Trigger, because I, I like Chrono Trigger, but I don't really, like, play it a whole bunch, but I do play a lot of, uh, a lot of Doom. <laughs> it's pitch black. Items. Street Fighter, yeah, Street Fighter. I, you know what? I have put a lot of time into Street Fighter. 
Boo boo bee boo. Doom was simple, that's what you like about it. What are you guys' favorite? I guess Street Fighter and... <coughs> I mean, that's tough, man. Like, StarCraft Brood Wars was good, Diablo, Super Mario World, like... This is hundreds of really good old games. Are you guys ready for another cutscene? We got the Asulin uh, medicine, so this guy cannot be stoned. We had to trade pot to get the cat to get the stuff to get this guy not stoned. Usually that's the opposite. <laughs> Use. Alice took out, because you see, the cat couldn't unscrew it, so the cat, when Odin got stoned, ran away and then got captured and then sold. Rocket Knight Adventures? Yeah, that one's pretty good too. See, that's it's, it's tough to say. There's so many great games. Poured out its contents. It's working! Ninja Turtles Arcades number two? Oh, he's not stoned anymore. Cutscene! Oh. Uh, hey, Mal. You found help. Thank you. I don't know if it will do any good, though. If we couldn't defeat Medusa, we don't stand a chance against Lashik. Who's your new friend? She's cute. How are you? My brother Nero was killed trying to overthrow Lashik. I'm going to destroy him no matter what it takes. Nero gave me your name just before he died and said that you might help me. Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, okay. Well then, for Nero's sake, let's let's team up. There's always room for one more, right, Meow? I'm the party leader now, because I'm the man. Hmm. Uh, I don't need your toxic masculinity, okay? Like, I'm the one that's gonna do this. So, tell me something before we go. You said you were trying to slay Medusa. Why? Well, gee, I don't know. I just like killing monsters. It's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> the magic sword. Magic sword's pretty fun, too. Oh, it's because she has a magical axe, and I want it. Maybe we can grab it on the way to La Chique. You're pretty cool. I use axes, by the way, and guns. That's kind of my thing. I don't use magic. I'm too stupid for that. Anyway, I hit a compass at a dead end in this cave. Come on, let's go grab it. I'm sure we could use it. Pokemon? Which Pokemon, though? Pokemon? Oh, anyway, our Bill... <laughs> I'm going to get canceled if I do Bill Cosby impersonations. <laughs> right. The compass is over here. Oh, yellow. Oh, I have that one. <laughs> Gen 1. That was like the... I didn't beat yellow, but I did beat red. The reason I have yellow is it came with uh, my Pokemon Game Boy Color. Found a compass. All right, now we can go through the stupid ass woods. Wherever the fuck that is. Yeah, so even though this is Medusa's cave, Medusa's not in here. When I first played this game, I was like, where the fuck is Medusa? Yeah, I got the Pikachu Game Boy. Want to see it? Here, I'll be right back. Doo -doo -doo -doo. The Dragon Quest knockoff version of Pokemon? Oh, the Pokemon, like, Adventure Dungeon? You bet it's worth bank now? If, if it was not in the case... But, let's see, let me... Yeah. Yeah, so there it is. It's got the green and red button. Uh, let me see how close I get it. There you go. And then on the back, it's blue. And then, um... Oh, look, the battery still works on it, so there... You can, you can see my camera? Because this is what it's like to play a Game Boy. It's, it's, it's like this. You can barely see shit. <laughs> it's like, look, we got like, the ball, the Pokeball is the power on thing. Yeah. Yeah, see, and then it comes out, but it's not backlit, so you can't see shit when you play it. That's, that's what it's like. Yeah, like, I mean, I was able to play my Game Boy, but damn, I'm so fucking glad 
Like, I got the GBA when it came out, and I was disappointed because I was used to the Game Gear, and that was backlit. I'm now lost. <laughs> right, let me see. Uh, maybe if I go this way? Oh, well, we can level up then. Oh, yeah, the little magnifier. I had that for my Game Gear. It made it look like a camera. Hey, what's up, Peppy Paco? How you doing? I'm finding some slime. Or like with the Game Boy, there, you, I also had the little light for it, you know what I mean? And like, that was okay. But having a backlit Game Boy... Part of me wants to like, modify that Game Boy with an LCD or whatever screen with the backlight, but then I'm like, nah, keep it factory standard, because it's... It's the Pokemon Game Boy, so it is kind of a collector's item. I don't know where I am. Okay, maybe if I turn right here. Uh... Shit. <laughs> the light boy. I got this Game Boy carrying case and it says Game Boy on it, so thieves will know that we're how to steal it. <laughs> you can never take it to school. Uh, oh shit, thanks man. You know what I'm talking about? Like when, like when you were a kid, you had like those carrying cases for your portable systems and it just said what it was. And they're like, well, now it's gonna get stolen. There we go. I got out of it. Boop, 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 beep, boop. All right, so we'll go over here. Heal up and then save. Two metal rings guarding it in case it dropped. Oh, like, like, like a phone case before a phone case, sort of. Well, the only thing that sucks about the Game Boy SP, though, is that, like, the one thing I wish I had for it was those speakers that, that, um, you could get, where it would be, like, uh... You know, like, like these big speakers on the side of it, so the sound would be better, because if you didn't have speakers or headphones, it would just be a mono and not stereo. Alright, hold on. Loop! Alright, yeah, there's this stuff. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we'll make it a little bit bigger. Alright, we just got Odin. Let's see if there's anything in the manual here. You regret selling? Yeah, you should never have sold them, especially if you had the box and manual. They're like, let's see. Let's see what... Oh, wait! Maybe I can, like, use this manual, because it does kind of explain some of the weapons. Like, the Iron Axe. Odin has it from the start and has more power than the short sword. Remember, it's heavy and you'll need strength to use the axe. Uh, ceramic sword, wand, old fang. What is the silver fang? I guess that's for Meow, wow. Oh, it is! One of the few weapons which Meow can use. The attack strength is 10. It literally tells me. A lightsaber?! If you are only going to shop in the store, is this the most powerful weapon available over the counter? Attack strength is 46. Damn. Cola? Oh, here we go. There's the Aislinn found hanging around Meow's neck. But what is its use? There's a magic hat. Buying this item, you will be able to understand the language of certain monsters. Oh! What's this robot? A robot made of pure Lacronian. He will operate the Luvino. If you find him! Oh, I see. I mean... Burger. You had him complete in mint collection. Oh, that sucks, man. There's passport. Another form of identification necessary for interplanetary travel. Flashlight. Oh, yeah. Used to allow you to see in dark corridors. Okay. So, let's see. Traps. Oh, these are all... The oh, that's what the spells do. Towns and villages. An overview of the solar system. That's neat. What else? Village hospital. Town church. Oh, here we go. Here's the characters. Alright, so you got Elise. I don't know what she's doing in this picture. Is she jumping or falling? Elise, the main character of the game. Her brother was killed by Le Sheik. She has vowed to overthrow him to avenge her brother's death. Meow. An unusual animal who looks like a cat. He speaks the human language and is closely tied to Odin. Odin, the second comrade of Elise. 
He also has taken a vow to overthrow the evil King Lysik. I guess that happened over, you know, whatever. And then Noah, or Lutz, whatever you want to call him, he is an esper wizard and lives in Moldavia, best known for his magical powers. Noah is close friends of the governor, so we know him from the manual. We got to talk to the governor so we can get this asshole. He's, a, he's clearly a wizard, see, he's got a staff. Sounds like Meowth. Meowth, <laughs> he's the proto Pokemon. Whoop. Helpful hints, save the game often. In all caps. Write down clues, not gonna happen. Uh, only with your combined strength you can defeat Lashik. Explore everywhere, gain strength and power. Um, uh, make a map, not happening. Before engaging in battle, think about which magic we, I, uh... Okay, so. What is the rest of this? Whoa, you gave me maps?! Like, they're hand-drawn. Kind of useful, I guess. Oh, man, my 90-day limited warranty. That's the end of the manual. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And look at these maps here. I mean, I guess that's kind of helpful. We know there's a continent over here. All right, well. Hold on, let me, I'll fix the game right now. Uh... Of that and we're back do, 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 do. I, oh, hold on I might check something out here narful <laughs> snarf we are from France <laughs> where are you guys from I well, I'm from France. <laughs> I love that. From France. I am from France. <laughs> Still the best. All right. Uh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check something out here. How long is? Cause I, I want to take like a like a, a little break. So I'm gonna put on a video. But I'm gonna see if I can get something Fantasy Star related. How long are the Fantasy Star commercials? Is the question. They're not very long at all. Hey, wait, well, this one has subtitles. Hold, hold on. So, in Japan, this is how they advertise the game. Whoop! Bloop! Oh, wait, let me mute the game volume first. How do I... Yep. Show my sidebar. I think I got a mute button down here, right? Is it this? There we go! Yeah! It's fucking fancy. All right, here, here's what the, the Japanese commercial is. I, there is no American commercial for Fantasy Star because Sega of America are fucking dumb. All right, let's see. Hopefully that's not too loud. Sega is a role-playing game. Oh! Fantasy Star. Kaze tenai kyoi no graphic. Sodai na SF story. Sono hibitsu wa 4 mega. 4 mega card. Fantasy Star. FM sound. Damn. Awesome. Ah, I got, I'm hyped now. Yeah, there is no American commercial for Fantasy Star. It's a commercial for a fucking shit game. And then at the end, they're like, oh, by the way, you can get Fantasy Star. I'm like, what? You guys, that should have been the main commercial. You dumbasses. <laughs> like, what is wrong with you people? Let me find out. Uh, let's see. Because I think they're advertising, like, Lord of the Sword or some dumb shit like that. And it's like, yeah, um, why wasn't it Fantasy Star, bro? Oh, it's, it's, here, here it is. Here it is. So, they're advertising this mediocre arcade conversion of Thunderblade. Okay, now we're talking Thunderblade. Yeah, look how choppy and shitty it looks. Fuck yeah. Twelve rounds of major air ground destruction. An arcade classic. Allow me. Note my aerial technique. Hey, guys, come on. Come on, you'll get your turn. Thunderblade. Just one of 70 games from Sega. And now look for the incredible Fantasy Star. Sega. That's major it. Major fun and game. Where do they see Fantasy Star? Sega's yeah, maybe you should advertise Fantasy it. Star and Master Systems sold separately.
You fucking idiots. Oh, yeah, yeah, here's this game. Oh, Fantasy Star. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> like, why did <laughs> Like, what the fuck were they doing? <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's put back the sound. Man, it's like they just didn't want to win. They're like, nah, we don't want to make any money. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, oh my god, they showed no screenshots of the game, they just showed like, hey, here's a title screen, Fantasy Star. Yeah, it's out. What of it? Oh, the Talking Belly commercials with the, the really 90s Sega commercials, like, SEGA! Right, how much money do I have? Do I have enough to buy any, like, <coughs> new stuff? I have 749. Should we just buy shit for Elise? And just say, because like, what does Odin have? Does he have like better equipment? No, he just has an iron axe. He doesn't even have a shield. I guess we could buy him the cheapo shield. That's like 30 Masetta. And we went to the tool shop by mistake. Um, actually what we should do... Oh wait, that's why that one place allows you to buy the passport. You could sell the passport. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, we might as well buy a couple of these, huh? By the way, I... Because I'm going to need him to do the dumb dungeons. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to go to the fast food place. Bloop. Like Japan, they're like, Oh, we actually want you to buy this game. Here's an advertisement with a cosplay chick and a bunch of screenshots and how awesome the game looks. Bronze shield. I could buy the bronze shield and then give um, Odin the. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and then we'll equip the leather shield to Odin's son. Cool. All right, now I'm gonna save, and now I'm actually gonna take like uh, a five minute break. I'll put on a video. Um, while I take the break, but I gotta sit it up. So first, first we need my, my great break text. All right. And it's blocked, cool. Here, let me uh, up it. Yeah, there it is, you can barely read it. Pretty badass, huh? Ready for- Oh, it's not Johnny Arcade. It's gonna be- It's gonna be a little boring. <laughs> it's gonna be- <laughs> do, do you want an 80s thing? I could do that. I was gonna put on, um, a Frame Meister thing. I was gonna do a My Life in Gaming. Not the full video, just have something, you know. Wait, let me look. Was there any fucking fantasy- star stuff because I couldn't find any maybe font color change oh it'll be fine once I actually um put on a video it just looks bad now like <laughs> uh uh wait I know I know here we'll just we'll just have this guy talk about fantasy star right it's nine minutes long, so it's not super long, and I'm able to, like, take a break and, uh, get, get a drink. And it's still related to the game I'm playing. Alright, so what I need to do... Got that going. Now I need to, like, mute this. <coughs> mute this. That way, the you don't hear that sound. Uh, and I'm gonna. Oh, I know. I can turn it into this. Yeah, there you go. Turn it into that, and then turn that on, and then just sort of have this like show up, like boom, like that. Really neat. And then turn on the volume and check the volume level. All right, guys. I'll be back in a little bit. Um, there should be no ads, but we'll see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where's my... Ah, uh, 
I gotta do my taking a break thing or else people just think I'm ripping people off. There it is, see? Now you can see it. Not bad. So, let me ask you a serious question. What is your favorite game of all time? Now, I'm guessing your answer would be similar to this. That is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. There is no way I could answer that question. For me, it always comes back to Chrono Cross. It is and always has been a Legend of Zelda a link to the past. Well, obviously the best video game series of all time is Sweek it in, right? <laughs> well, which game is the best? I, I, I can't just pick one. Now let me rephrase the question and see if your answer changes. What is the most important game to you? What I mean by this is a game that changed the way you thought about games. It had such a profound effect on you that the way you viewed video games was forever changed. For me, the answer is easy. Sega's Fantasy Star. Following the release and frenzy over Dragon Quest in Japan, I think Sega immediately decided they should get on that train. The creator of their popular Alex Kidd character, Reiko Kadama, came forward with the idea for Fantasy Star. Now, I grew up in and out of arcades, and my love for Space Harrier guaranteed that I would ask for the Sega Master System instead of an NES for Christmas in 1986. Owners of the Master System know it was a tough situation to be in. The NES was completely destroying it in the hearts and minds of most kids. When I saw an ad for Fantasy Star, I could hardly believe what I was looking at. The next wave in gaming? You're telling me. The singular picture of a sandworm looked better than anything that could be on the Nintendo. The most important thing to me was putting this image away as ammo for the slowly ramping war between Sega and Nintendo. I guess the least important thing to me apparently was, what is this game about? How does it play? I didn't even know what kind of game it was. But honestly, did it matter? Fantasy Star is the story of Alice. The adventure begins when her older brother, Nero, is gunned down by police officers by the orders of the once beloved, now tyrannical, King Lassic. Swearing revenge, Alice takes up Nero's sword and follows his last words to seek out a man named Odin. Alice is joined in her quest by a little talking cat thing called Meow, an esper named Noah, and the aforementioned warrior, Odin on an adventure that takes place across the three planets of a solar system called Algol. We start out on the planet Palma, full of rolling hills, green forests, and large bodies of water. Closer to the sun, there's Motavia, the desert planet. And moving in the other direction is the icy Dezorus. Trying to differentiate itself from its competition, Fantasy Star mixes technology and fantasy in a really awesome way. Dragons, spaceships, swords, laser guns. I'd never seen anything quite like it. On my 11th birthday, my family decided to go shopping. I had a hunch that maybe Fantasy Star had been released. I walked into KB Toys and saw it hanging behind the register. It's going to cost me $80. Every penny I'd gotten as a gift, and then some. But it wasn't a hard choice. I'd poured over that ad for so long there's no way I wouldn't be getting it that day. Once I finally booted the game up, I was completely in awe. These graphics are so good. Continue? You mean this game has a save system like Zelda did? Then, as soon as the actual game started, I was faced with this. What the heck is this? Where's that sandworm from the pictures? Why are the graphics suddenly so bad? I walked around town for a second, then went outside. I got into my first battle with what looked like a giant fly. I had to select what I wanted to do from a list of options. Attack, item, talk? I was killed immediately. It took me a few deaths to figure out what I was even doing, and what was even happening in the fight scenes. I didn't get menu-driven, turn-based things just yet. It was so the opposite to anything that I'd played in my life. Even winning a battle, I was presented with more questions. What are experience points? Meseta? I didn't have the faintest idea what was going on. And despite being impressed by the 3D dungeons, I felt like I'd made this huge mistake. All this excitement, and I think I hate this game. I put it away and just 
played something else. Randomly deciding to give the game another chance, I discovered the secret to proceeding. Yes, there's an item called Secrets, and you have to try to buy it three times. Of course, it's expensive, and I figured out experience in leveling up while I was saving enough money, or er, Meseda, for it. Secrets turned out to be a road pass that I needed to get to the spaceport. I'd been joined by Miao by the end of the night, and from there, everything came together. I was daydreaming about the game at school. Uh oh, oh, spoilers, guys. Spoilers. Oh, no, no, we now know he's going to be joining the team, even though I spoiled it anyways. Woo hoo hoo. <laughs> All right, I'm back. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I think over here. Yeah, you're right. I need to change that fucking text. Okay. I got some drinks. Got a monster. I got, I got some Mexican candy now, so we're good to go. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. All right, I need to get rid of the text. That that has to happen. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Hey, wait, let me see. Can I add drop shadow? Now you'll never enjoy this. Exactly. Oh, you can just go look at my life in gaming. Change. Um... No, there's an opacity thing. Okay, yeah, it's it's much harder than it would be to add a freaking drop shadow. Never mind. We'll, we'll deal with that some other point. Woo. Um, he beat the game. Spoilers. <laughs> he, he totally beat the game, so we're... Ah. All right, you know what? Let's save again. Why not? Ooh, all right. Okay, so did I equip the shield on Odin? I did. All right, I don't know what to do now. That's... <laughs> we need to go to a cave to get a cake? So I think it's up north here. Good, a trap, thanks. Oh, what did the manual say? Oh, it said I had to... Well, no one's really that hurt. Uh, you know what? We might have to grind a little bit, because Odin apparently starts off pretty weak. That's a lot of swarm. I'm opening up this candy. Let's see, what is this? Mega flechazos. Yes, it's um it's 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 like one of these and it's like wrapped with stuff, so it should be pretty good. I have a lot two of them because they're easy to eat. Get some sugar. I also ate a hot dog. But I did that off stream. I, I felt that was the professional streamer way of doing things. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Please get some rest. Okay, yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. Does she have an onk on her chest? I think it's a cross. I'll have to look at it again. Oof. Oh, it's a cross. Okay. I was like, she's not the avatar. Problem is, it's hard to try and like try to open this candy while the game is. I gotta keep pressing attack. This is my meta game here of opening this wrapper. Oh, okay, I did it. All right, we're good. I'm good to go. Do do. Hmm. You know, speaking of candy, I should get those like um. Damn it. You know those um. I guess they're caught. They're are they suckers? Like you know the one with the bubble gum inside of them, right? They're not lollipops. I guess that's what they're called. Yeah. 
And then, you know what I'm saying? Like they're like the the ball candy that you put in your mouth, and then it, you, there's bubble gum in the center. Oh man, I level everyone leveled up. Cool. <laughs> bubble yum. Come on, what's up, Cork? I'm gonna heal over here. Balloon pops, right? Like something like that. Is that what they're called? See, what I need to do is when I play retro games, I need to, um, I need to get, like, a bunch of candy. <laughs> like, some kind of candy jar or something, you know, with, like, jelly beans or some shit. Why? I don't know. Just for fun. Would bubblegum be a good idea to like have while streaming? Because then all you would hear is a <laughs> all the time, you know? Is that like ASMR? Do people like that? Blowing bubbles? The uh, Werther's Originals or Jolly Ranchers? Yeah, Jolly Ranch, like, do the Jolly Rancher. Like, what's good about this, like, candy I got here is not, not only was it, like, really cheap, but I got a whole tub of it. And I've had it for, like, two or three months. I've just been having, like, two or so a day. Like, I basically have the one that a vendor would have, you know? Like, if you went to a gas station and you wanted to buy a single. I also have some Nutella. Oh, no, not Nutella. Um, Kinder. Kinder chocolate. I don't know why I said Nutella. I find I like the gummy chocolate, or not gummy chocolate, the gummy candy the best. Oh shit, no, I do have other candy. Holy fuck, I forgot. I have some, I have some Flintstone balls. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, I got them during Christmas. Here, check this out. Look at that. Look, look at that. Fr Flintstone balls. They're like little balls. Uh, there's some, yeah, they're like this. They're like little balls of, of malted milk. Flintstone balls. It's like, hey Fred, could I have some of your balls? Barney, I don't need your balls! But Fred, I just like putting your balls in my mouth. Barney, come on! <laughs> just want your milk balls in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> ah, Jesus. I like how... <laughs> I like how the Flintstones are just cereal mascots now. Hmm. Also, I know my hands were shaky, but I really have to stretch them out to get them, like, to the camera. <laughs> So it's hard to keep them straight. Their history. The fruity pebbles, like Barney's always trying to get them. Hmm. Hmm. It's like, yo, Fred. Give me some of them pebbles. Barney, go get your own pebbles. That's not very neighborly of you, Fred. Be ashamed if an accident happened. All oh, I'm saying. I always like Barney's car. You know, I think it looks like a pencil. It's just a log that's hollowed out. Blue. The Jetsons never got a cereal. Or maybe they did. Let me try one of these balls here. The only thing I don't like about them is if you see here, it's like they come in this tin foil wrapping and it's a pain in the ass to get the wrapping off. Like you have to spend a whole bunch of time on it. Just to get one of Fred's delicious milky balls. It's it's basically a malt milk with fruity pebbles inside of it. That's basic. That's what the candy is. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna try to open one now. That's how long it takes, because you gotta like find the little thing, and you don't want to like obviously you don't want to rip it off, because then you come out with all these little pieces of foil. I used to like cocoa pebbles. Cocoa pebbles are pretty nice, and make your milk chocolatey. 
now in the in the chocolate cereal run, I think uh, Cocoa Puffs wins out, and then you have Crave. That's the cereal with chocolate and the filling. I know this is t this is how long it takes me to open this stupid wrapper to eat the ball. All right, I think I okay. I have opened the wrapper, and uh, and then it's just as you can see, it is just a white ball. Oh, that's right. There's a Reese's one too. There's a Reese's puff. You want to know what the secret of Reese's peanut butter is? Sugar. That's that's why it tastes so much better. <laughs> All right, back. Back to the grind. If anyone has good snack recommendations, you can tell me in the chat. Something that doesn't stick to my hands, you know, because when you're playing games, you don't want like sticky hands or like fudgy hands and shit like that. You don't want to get, get it all in the controller and shit. And it's, it's just bad. So I guess maybe like a stick candy, like the marshmallow on a stick or greasy. Yeah, you don't want to eat Doritos, you know, get all those Dorito or, or um, puffs like cheese puffs. I mean, I like that stuff. I like potato chips and stuff, but it's like get all my cashews. That might be something like a trail mix kind of nut thing, because like the, there's those power nuts, right? I also like the Japanese nuts, but there's like this thing called like the power up, and it's like a bag full of nuts, and it's different types of nuts. Go with that. I'd have to shell them. Oh, then now that'll take too much time. <laughs> Gotta be quick, man. I mean, I'm not a speedrunner, but you know. You saw how long it took me to open that fucking ball of Fruity Pebble. That's just one. Do -do 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 Corn nuts. <laughs> oh, like almonds and shit. And, oh my god. Damn it. See, because I would love to eat like, um. Like, well, what's it called? You know, like tortilla chips with like a, a cheese. But the problem with that is like, well, the cheese might get on my shirt and my controller. Unless it's like a thing that I could just scarf down, like it's like a one item, you know, and you can just like... <laughs> I guess I could do that with cereal, you know, I could just like... <laughs> get a cereal box. <laughs> <coughs> oh shit, you know what? Bugles. I love bugles. I should, I should get bugles. I gotta write this shit down, that way I can buy it when I go to one. <laughs> when I'm at the store. <laughs> grapes? Okay, grapes, alright. I can get like a fruit thing with like cheese. The problem, yeah. No, 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 the cheese would work, yeah. The problem with grapes though is they might... Like, unless they're like refrigerated, they might get a little like soggy, you know what I mean? Yeah, bugles are the shit. I should get bugles, I don't know what I'm doing. I can get, um... Instead of, like, the one big bag of bugles, I'll get the, the bag that has the tiny bags of bugles. And the reason being, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you my chip manifesto right now. On how potato chips and Doritos and all those should be eaten. They should be eaten in the small bag. And here's my reasoning for it. When you buy the big bag of chips, all of the salt, all of the uh, spice, all the flavor settles in the bottom of the bag. And is not on the chip, you know? Ever notice you eat the big bag and then at the very bottom is all this shit on the bottom and it's just like, it's just shake. But when you buy a small bag, there's almost no shake in it. That's because the percentage of the chips that have the flavoring on the chip is higher. That is, that is my reasoning of buying the smaller bags. Or buying a pack of small bags, right? And also, they stay fresher because you're not going to eat everything in the big, you know, Funyun or whatever bag, right? You're going to eat a little bit of it and then roll it up and then put it away. Why not just eat a small portion of it and then you have a bunch of little bags of it? <laughs> you can tell I spent too much time taking this shit like this. And again, your mind wanders when you're just grinding. Like, this is... Alright, all right, let's see if we can get into the... Um... The big bag is the small bag. Ah, yes, fair, yes, when high, you're, I, uh, you're, uh, goddamn, well, what's the saying? It's not that your eyes are bigger than your stomach, it's more like you have an infinite stomach. <laughs> you just... 
just eat the whole big ass bag. <laughs> do 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 do. Man, if they ever made it legal. Oh, wait, I can just go up here. There's a secret path. I guarantee you, you would get a lot more streams, but a lot of it would just be really more mindless than now. <laughs> and then my stacks will be others. They'll be like these little gummy bears. Uh, or the little fruit roll up things. Oh, those sour rolls. Those are pretty, you know what I'm talking about? Like they're like a big, like sour candy, but it's like rolled. Those are pretty nice. Like strawberry watermelon flavor. So I think I can't go through that door, but I have to go through here. Oh my god, it's it's a Lich King. You got the fill yeah, you're you got it prescribed to you. <laughs> pickles, huh? Pickles! Pickles are supposed to be good for you. They're supposed to like help you with muscle cramps and shit like that, right? Or like pickle juice, you know, because we they, people sell pickle juice. Like energy drink pickle juice? I wouldn't recommend drinking the pickle juice in a pickle jar though. They add a bunch of salt to preserve the pickle. Makes you eat a lot. Yeah, it's sort of. <laughs> Save. I think this is where I get the cake. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, god damn it. No, it doesn't really matter if I fight these guys or not. Like, I'm, I'm making money and I'm getting XP, so. We're gonna try that door. Because I don't. I think what the procedure is I go down this cave. I go to the bake shop, I buy the cake, and then I go back to the governor on that one planet. And then I give him the cake, and then he gives me, like, a passage to get here. Or either that, I get to meet uh, Noah, the wizard, or Esper, as they call him. Either way, we'll figure it. It's not... It's not that cryptic. This game is no legacy of the wizard on the NES. It's, it's much more straightforward than that. Do-do-do... Oh, the, oh, like the cheese Ritz crackers? I see this door should be locked. Yeah, I can't move forward, so I need like a key. Alright, well, we'll go to that one dungeon that we know has shit in it. Oh, wheat thins? Wait, let me try something. Let me press a button. Okay, no, yeah, nothing happens. Blah, 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 blah. Get out of here. Weathens! Dead! What about rice cakes? You guys into rice cakes? Or like the rice cakes where they put chocolate on it, like the Drizzlicious? Drizzlicious. I'm like, that's. That should be a, my present name is Drizzlicious. <laughs> rice cakes by the pal. Odin leveled up. Dang. How much money do I have right now? Like. Stats. Uh, by a, a thousand. Okay, that's not bad. The white cheddar ones. Ooh. So, is cereal a snack? Like, if you have a bowl of cereal, is that like a snack? I mean, that's not something I would do while streaming, because that's just, you know, the milk and the... I get some Cheerios or some shit. Do, 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 do. Oh, you know what? Chex Mex. Though I feel like if I did Chex Mex, I would do um, I would do a stream where I play the Chex Mex video game. That's another idea I've had for streams is like I'll do a stream that is clearly a, to sell me shit. So like, let's say uh, I play Coca Cola Kid on the Game Gear, right? I'll be drinking a lot of Coca Cola. Holy shit! There's a town here. Oh, but we're bad. Holy fuck, we're bad. No, let's get out of here. This guy's got too much HP. Oh, he doesn't do shit. We should just fuck him up. Yeah, I don't know why I was so afraid of Batman over here. Let's see, how much damage do we do? Oh, we do decent. He, he, he's, he's a bat, and he does the Sonic the Hedgehog roll before Sonic the Hedgehog ever existed. It's a combo, Quench Thirst too. 
We get those cereal cups for like a dollar. Hey, maybe my theory of, of potato chips also applies to cereal. Maybe if you get the little cereal cups, it'll be more flavorful than a big box of cereal. I hope this guy gives me a lot of XP. There's three of them, so... Yeah, like, the beginning part of the game I know very well, like, how to get Odin and shit. But it's like, after that, I'm kind of, uh... Oh, no, don't kill Odin. No! Fuck! That means I gotta go pay money to res him. Alright, we might as well try to heal. Fuck me! Alright, well... The milk into the bag inside the box? Damn! Okay, <laughs> you got this box. I don't, I don't know, man. Those cereal boxes aren't, aren't strong. Oh, God. Alright, we gotta run away now. There's only one character. Holy shit, I'm gonna die now, aren't I? I haven't saved in a while. How can you keep blocking it? Mistakes are made. That's true. I gambled and lost. How can he keep blocking it? I'm gonna try one more time. If it doesn't work, we, we, we're just gonna keep fighting. He doesn't do that much damage. Okay, we, we can't run away. It's like, it's impossible. Oh, plain donuts? Oh, the ones without the gla uh, the glaze? Okay, we'll just... Hopefully she can one-hit kill these guys. She'll get attacked four times in the turn, but... If she can kill one of them in one hit, that'll... Okay, good. Sugar llamas? What is that? Are they like Dunkaroos? How do you get you, Dunkaroos? Oh, so we're getting another fight immediately, yep. Scorpius! We gotta see what's in that town down there. I have a vague memory on how this stuff is done. I know we will have to go into that cave up north and get the cake. Go to the church here. So, in Fantasy Star 2, instead of a church, it's like, um, a genetics lab, and they clone your your, char uh, your dead characters back. So, it, it makes more sense in the science setting. Here, they just flat out, I guess, resurrect them. Stratopon, is there anyone else? Yeah, let's get... You can watch them make it, then you get all the kinds of flavor toppings. Very good when warm. Just to walk in. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a place around here called like um round rock donuts apparently everyone likes to talk about it i'm like i've had them a, a couple of times they're okay those mini fried donuts oh what about like um like white chocolate covered pretzels those little mini pretzels i could try that oh wait no they might melt might get on my hands. Ew. Alright, let's try to heal. I got a bunch of money. We could just try and buy, like, really good equipment. Buy, like, six, then you have to buy two more. Alright, let me see. We have a ton of cash. 1,500. We could buy, like, the best sword for a leash, and then maybe we can give her old sword to, um... ...to Odin. That's a possibility, right? Let's try that out. Unless he can only use axes and guns, but... I, I assume he could 
fucking use a sword. I mean, jeez. Sword. Alright, yeah, I can get the ceramic sword, so let's go with that. Dang it. I'm gonna misclick. Alright, Alis. It says it won't tell me how much damage the thing does. I gotta go over here. So his attack is 30. But let's see. Forty one. Alright, so that that helped out. Meow, I think, can't... He needs special equipment. We can't share equipment with him, which makes sense. He's a cat. A mountain of ice cream. He's like, Hey, guys, I'm eating junk food and watching trash. Come stop me. <laughs> He's watching the best movie ever. What is it, like, Gangsters and Angels or some shit? <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas. A filthy animal. <laughs> uh, it's like the best. <laughs> it's like he just. And like in the second one, he shoots me more. He shoots her, and he's like, "And a happy New Year." <laughs> right, let's go to that tiny little town down there. You've beaten Scorpio Scorpionox. I bet mean, they had some goopy names too in the first one. It's like Frankie the Rat or some shit. <laughs> okay, so this town's not as advanced. Watch, they got a way better sword. That'd be fucked up. Okay, good. They have shit. But they have a gun. Now, guns, uh, what they do is they hit all the enemies that you, you know, they hit all enemies. But they do less damage overall, so... And I think Odin can use guns. I don't think Elise can use guns. Or maybe she can too. Maybe Odin and Elise can share equipment. Since they're both humans. Uh, Noah probably can't because he's, he's a, a mage. Or an esper as they call him here. Welcome to Epi Village. We don't get many visitors lately now that the forest is crawling with monsters. I mean, like, fucking gigantic Batman? Yeah, it's similar to, like, the whips. I think this goes true in later fantasy stars. It wouldn't surprise me if the governor of Motabi approved of what you're doing. He might even be able to help you in your quest. Have you talked to him yet? No, he needs cake. He won't see anyone unless we give him cake. He's a weirdo like that. All the great espers live on Motavia. Cool. What's an esper? I think I once looked up the definition of esper and it's like, it's it's nothing like how I thought it was. Do you know what the hardest, strongest material in the world is? Is it Laconian? No, it's Laconia. Laconian weapons are the strongest in all of our goal. Oh, that's foreshadowing something. Long ago, a professor named Levino had a research laboratory in the Gothic woods. I wonder if it's still there. Probably is. Is this guy important? He's got a gold thing. Take in on old Le Chic, are you? You're either a fool or you're tougher than you look. Either way, I admire your bravery. Are you in need of a dungeon key? Yes! I hid one inside the warehouse on the outskirts of Kamenitz Residential District. I hid it pretty good. You might want to take a second look if you've already been there. You must. So, well, well, I have to talk to him. I have to talk to him. To be able to because i searched there and there was nothing there so i gotta talk to him and then search there and then it's it activates and i guess it makes sense because the forest around there has some very powerful monsters so there's almost no way you're gonna get there by yourself to get the key you have to have odin and meow with you Meow can cast spells? What spells? I know Odin has no spells though, so he'll, he'll, he can cast- Okay, so he can heal as well. Or cure? No, wait, cure is different than heal. I don't know if it's like... 
gets rid of poison effects or I think this is go down here uh, I think it's just at the end of the hallway oh see now it's here and now I got the dungeon key So we went down to that town. I'm gonna try to go see if we can get the cake. I don't know if we need special permission or if we just buy it, I forget. But I think we just buy it. I think it's like a couple of thousand. What's our money looking like now? 500, all right. Do, 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 do. Saving, plot one. For Pyrus. <laughs> See, maybe the needle gun would be pretty good to have when you're traveling in areas where you're way more powerful than the enemies you're fighting. So it's just better to just have like one person do one attack that kills all of them. But then when you do your like real dungeons, you have like a legit weapon, like a big axe or something. Played this when you were a kid, never got far, don't remember getting the other characters. You just never knew what you were supposed to do, but you played it a lot, doing the same stuff all the time. That's how I am with Legacy of the Wizard. I have no desire to go and beat that game either. I'm just, oh shit, this, we don't want to get in a battle here. This would be like the worst. It's animated though, that's kind of cool. Yeah, with the, with the shore. Look, look at that view. Oh, he bounded him up. He paralyzed him with his net. Like in the movie, Kroll. Shoot! I like the little details they put in here. I mean, it makes no sense why there's like bushes in front of our heroes. You know, from this first person view, but hey. It does make it look a little less. Yeah, I remember Kroll. Kroll. <laughs> This Rajago. Like, I, we were watching Crawl, and then at the end, you know, when, when they beat the big bad guy and shit, the, the, the narrator comes in, and then it's like, and then their son or their child ruled the galaxy. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, galaxy? Oh, I thought this was a fantasy movie. What are you fucking talking about? What? What? And again, like, some of the bad guys had laser guns. I don't know. It's, it's kind of like this. It's like, are we medieval? Are we fantasy? Well, who knows? I forgot to sell his axe. Immediately attacked by bats. You can get in a random encounter by standing still? What the fuck is that? That's like the worst. These guys, like, they can buff themselves. I guess I closed the, the thing I had all those tabs hung. Because uh, I need to find a map. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'm going to find a map. I can still fight these, this guy, though. Oh, wait. You guys aren't seated. <laughs>
What is this place? Alright, back. I can turn that on. Okay. Is this the Nawala Cave? I'm gonna assume it is. I guess I'll find out. This If this is the cave, it has four levels. I mean, are we strong enough to fight these guys? I mean, we kind of are. You definitely need, like, three characters. Because so... there's... there's no way you could get in here with just a leash unless you leveled her up, like, a lot. All right, Cor. Like, that's my theory, at least. Like, unless you were so stuck in the game. But then, you know, then you would go down here, get the cake, and then you wouldn't know what to do. It also looks like, according to this map, there's some garbage-ass loot, but I'll get it anyways. Like, the, the loot in this dungeon is the sword you start the game with. Like, what the hell? It's like a troll loot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, alright. So this is where we need to go. It's not the other one. Going downstairs. This is where it gets fucking caught. This is the map. This is what I was like, fuck. I think it was not this one, but like three or four dungeons in where I'm like, what the fuck? Uh. This way? Okay, that's the wrong way. We're gonna try and get the loot. Oh, that's right. I got a compass. I can check what north and south is. Or did I forget to get the compass? Oh no, I got it, alright. Facing east, okay, that helps out. beat them. What do they got? Crap. Okay, so there should be like a thing. Okay. So there should be like a thing over here. Uh, a random encounter. have the encounter rate to ah uh... nah this is good enough yeah it works I'm making some real money now all right let's heal him now best character is still Elise. She has the most HP, and she does, um, I think she does more damage than Odin. Though I did give her, like, a better sword, so that's probably why. There's nothing here. Oh, this map is inaccurate. Supposed to be a short sword there, but again, these maps must be might be doing the American version of the game, and I think the dungeons are slightly changed. I am playing the Japanese version translated to English, so we can get that nice FM sound.
wonder if we should keep going, because it's like, I don't have enough healing spells. Let me, let me check something here. So what does Cure do? Is that just like a more powerful heal? Okay, that's also heal. Alright, we're I guess we're good. Unless we fight three liches. I think I'm lost. Hmm. I don't know if I should go back or not. Ugh. Let's keep going. Yeah, that's a dead end, so we'll go this way. Alright, we're back on track. That way. Wait, what? Yeah, these maps are not telling me exactly where I need to go here. They're a little different. Well, I know going forward's bad. So, one of these leads to a dead end with, like, a treasure chest. And one of these... The fuck? Maybe I should just make my own maps. The maps on the internet are wrong. They're, they don't take into account... The, the, the original Japanese maps. Alright, well, this one looks to be the same, so we should be good. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, people you know, on English-speaking websites, they would use the American maps. But it makes me wonder why they changed the maps at all when they localized it. Because it's not like the maps are that much harder, they're just different. Meow. Alright. Okay, so it does cost more MP though. It's stronger, but it... what the hell is this? All right, so the guy should be here. Hey, a customer! Glad you found us. Sorry about the location. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you? There's literally Batman. My shortcakes are the best in Argyle, and I and a steel at only 280 Masada. Yeah, fuck! I came all this way. You fucking idiot! What's your commute like? Put your cake shop in the middle of nowhere where there's no population. Who's gonna buy your cakes? I, I don't need the treasure that's in this room, but the one, the guy in me that has to do everything 100% is gonna try and get that damn treasure. Like, part of me wonders what they were doing when they were making this game. Like, were they trying to make fun of Dragon Quest with this? It's like, why is there an idiot in the middle of the cave? But it's like, as far as I know, there's no quest like that in Dragon Quest. I got a new, um, spell. Wonder what it is. Fire! Oh, I got an offensive spell. Okay. I think if I go this way... Yep, there you go. One guy, all right. One's easy. Three or four, that's kind of a problem. Yeah, yeah. Four, four is kind of a problem. I mean, we leveled up a little bit, but it's like, we're still not doing that much more damage.
If they would just focus them down, that would be great, but they just kind of put their damage all over the place with them. There's only three left now. Okay, cool. We're down to one. He'll die after this turn. So, what, from what I gather, there's only one place where you can get Meow a weapon, like, and it's in a dungeon, so that we'll have to go out of our way to get. Okay, yeah, the dungeons are definitely longer in the Japanese version. No doubt about it. They're, they're bigger and more complex. So I guess they streamlined it a little bit for the American version. Which is why the maps I'm checking out online are wrong. <laughs> they're close, but... It's like, the distance is not correct in them. spell. I don't have any MP, though. What's the spell? Terror! Like, was that, like, just scare him? So, I guess that's what it does. Alright, well, this one's pretty easy. You just keep making lefts, and eventually... Lefts at corners, not lefts at, like, T-passes, but... Or T-sections, whatever. Okay, and then this one... Go out here, and then there'll be, like, one of these... I should be facing south. So, right? Alright, that was fairly simple. Now, this one's kind of easy. I just take one left and then the second right. four of these bad guys it and like if my guys just uh, focused them down it'd be easy and I yeah you, um, like is it a USB Xbox controller because like you should be able to bind the keys to any controller that you can hook up like if you use your Xbox controller to play games um, on PC anyways it'll work on any emulator guy's charged up, he might do a shitload of damage. Hopefully he hits a leash. Yeah, I think any X input device will work on. I mean, I'm pretty sure modern emulators uh, allow you to bind your X input. Like, all the ones I've used, like the DS one and the PlayStation one, you can. I haven't used the Genesis one in a long time, though. Right, we're, we got like one more heal left. We really gotta get out of this dungeon. We got when we get out of the dungeons, we'll fight easier enemies. So we should be able to make it to a town. We also probably have a lot of money right now. Yeah, like three thousand. So I could probably buy some better armor. Wait, was it the? No, it was the second right. Second right. Uh, do I have to use the key again? Are you serious? Are you shitting me, bro? Use, yep. Do not sell the shortcake. It took us forever to get over here. I had to go through like four levels of a dungeon. We. Uh oh. Right, this guy's easy. Doo -doo -doo. Shit! The other cool thing about a Genesis emulator. 
Like, I think there's one called Gens. It can do Sega CD, and it can do 32X. Probably can do Master System, too. I never tried Master System games with it. Shit. Oh my god, we are no match for the Lich. Gotta heal Odin. Just want to play this game again? Oh yeah, it should work with gens. And then if you want to play the specific version I'm playing, uh, there's patches on romhacking.net. I think it's called the, it's, um, it's like, um, one of the translation patches. And that way you can play it with, uh, the FM sound. And the better English translation. I beat the Lich. We have, like, no health. We're gonna have to try and limp back into town. Though all the monsters here are pretty easy, so... Fuck! Unless it's that! Uh, I swear, this might end the run. Okay, thank God. Alright, I'm, I'm saving now. Fuck that. Um, <laughs> it's, we were so close to dying there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God we ran away. We'd be so dead. So there's also a PS2 version of this. I was debating on playing that one instead of the original Master System one, but I'm like, nah, man. Like, I put, I've invested in a lot of money. Well, not a lot, but I've invested money to play this Master System version. With the, um, the Genesis EverDrive and the... Uh, clean uh, component cables and all that, so I was like, no, I gotta, we gotta play the Master System. <laughs> and I would make the argument that it's more significant, because the PS2 version, uh, what most people complain about is that it looks kind of like a Flash game. Like, it's definitely a cheap remake, it's not like a super, it's not like a Final Fantasy VII remake. They didn't make it all 3D and shit, they just kind of did the bare minimal with a small team. Alright, so we're all healed, let me save. We got the cake, we can go visit the governor. Bloop. Oh, better armor, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll take the tube. Wait, I think the port city has better armor than the armor in this city. Oh wait, no, I'm trying to figure out what shop has the best shit. I mean, we don't have access to the best shit, like we don't have the town that has the best shit. But I'm thinking, we, we definitely want to save some money to buy Meow some armor. But I think if we go here, this guy over here sells like a Zirconian suit. One thing I will say, you know, um, the fights are fast. Like, the best part about playing these old, like, um, cartridge-based RPGs is there's no loading. You know, you try to play Final Fantasy VII on PlayStation or any of those, like, disc RPGs from back in the day. It's like you're sitting around waiting for the fucking shit to load. Here, there's a lot more battles, sure, but it's like you don't have to... You don't have the post-loading and the past-loading. It's just... Oh, I always get attacked just before I come in here. Alright, dead. You want to open? Yes. Uh, this shop? Cause like, I know the other shop has diamond armor, but we don't- we are nowhere near diamond armor. So I can buy two, uh, zirconian males. That won't break the bank. Right, and um, I guess I could buy a better shield too for um, for Odin. And there's no, oh wait, there is a tool shop. I better sell the shit I don't need. 
And we know Meow can't equip armor. He can only equip specific armor, and it's none of this armor, so... Uh, Iron Axe we can sell. Crystal Shield was 1500 Okay, so if I buy the Crystal Shield, I can give Odin my hand-me-down shield. And then as long as I still have a couple of hundred, I can buy Meow the uh, fur, the fur coat thing. Leather clothes. We went from leather clothes to like zirconian armor. I think that's a huge upgrade for it. And she was already one of our strongest characters. So the shortcake. <laughs> Think being the keyword. Okay. Well, we'll see. I mean, we're we're pretty strong as is. But then again, we are going into a new area when we go into this planet, so we'll probably fight a higher tier monster. Like, we had a little bit of trouble against some of the newer monsters, like the bat monsters and shit, but... This one. Ceramic shield. Uh, she has the bronze shield, right? Because that'll give us enough money to be able to buy Meow the armor. Yeah, okay, so I'll buy the ceramic shield. And then I'll, I'll, we'll do a hand-me-down. Of her old shield to, um, Odin. Ceramic. I think there is. I think there is a diamond, but the diamond's like ten thousand. Ceramic. But I don't think it's on this planet equipped. I'm not even gonna look at the stat gain. It's it's not important. We just know it's stronger than what what they're using. The stats are not. I only need to look at that when I have no idea if if the it actually makes them uh, the numbers go up or not. Oh, no, wait, I can't sell it here. I gotta go to a tool shop. I can sell it. I can buy a flashlight while I'm here, too. <laughs> do, 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 do. Sell. Um, leather shield. Alright, now we're gonna go to that forest. I'm gonna make sure I do this. I'm gonna go to the forest and grind for a bit, get a, like, couple of hundred, because I think the, uh, armor for Meow is, like, 800. Save, too. That's probably always a smart thing to do. Especially when you're not in a dungeon. You should almost always save. Okay, so we're good. I'm gonna go down here, because we know the enemies are stronger by that forest. These enemies suck. They're not worth killing, but... But, you know, I mean, they're there. All they waste is time. They don't really do much against my health. And this is the game that, like, if you had a master system, this would be the one that you would show your friends that had NES systems. Oh yeah, you got that? Check this out! Like, look at the color on this game. It's like, way... It's like, damn! Oh, look at the animation. It's fucking amazing. Like, it still blows me away that this is an 8-bit system. Alright, we don't want to go on the beach. They're too powerful on the beach. We'll just hang out here. Yeah, there we go. They wear bats. They give me like 300 or 400 when I kill them. Oh shit! He swelled with strength. He got a wear boner. Now let's ch let's try to use some magic. Huh? Let's tr let's use fire. Let's see what that does. What do you think chat does? Think I could talk to the wear bats? It's good chance for me to experiment with some of the spells. I don't know what they do. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it hits multiple. Nice. Here, let's see, chat. Oh. 
Oh, it just okay. We need a magic hat to speak their language, but we can cast fire, which I didn't see how much damage it did. I don't think it does more than her physical attack, but it hits. It's it can possibly hit um, two different enemies. Yeah, it doesn't do that much. It's it's not worth really doing. It's better to save her for healing. She does more with physical damage because of the sword. That's the good thing about it. When we get Noah, because of his spells, we won't really have to spend money on him. Like, at least for offensive items, like stabs and shit, because we can just use his magic. He's not really going to attack much. Alright, yeah, that's a lot of money, so we're good to go. Oh, it's automatic. You don't do anything. There's no, like, um, stats you have to put stuff in. It just- you just immediately get stronger. That's why this game is so fast-paced. It's like Dragon Quest 1. It's like... It's a game that people beat in, like, 15 hours or 20 hours. It's, which is pretty significant for, like, an 8-bit title. Whoop. And right, now we go over here and heal. And we'll go to Moltavia and then buy, um... Buy the armor from Meow and then uh, go see the governor. I think there's a boss fight before the governor. Whoop. Do you have passport? Oh. Now for that fucking awesome sound effect. Yeah! Oh, you never seen Motavia? Woo! Alright, okay. I'm gonna go over here. Be like, move along, move along. He's got a whole new, like, theme. Okay, so I think one of these shops was selling cat armor. Uh, no. Wait, what tools do they got? Nothing I care about. They only sell you the passport in case you were stupid enough to sell them the passport. And then you're stuck on the planet. Alright, see, there's di spiky squirrel fur. That has, yeah. I mean, there's no way. That has to be for a meow. I cannot be armor for any other thing. Now, I want to know, I'm curious how much it'll go up. So his defense is 60. Ninety! Went up by 30, that is... That is pretty significant. So, I don't think this part's a dungeon. <laughs> I think it's pretty straightforward. Oh, it has a guard! Okay, alright. Yeah, it's this, this isn't much of a maze. How the fuck? I think the same key will work? It did! Does this work for all dungeons? Alt, did you bring a gift for- yeah! Ah, oh, shortcake, don't be pleased. I'll hold on to this for you. Proceed. So you needed to bring it to get past this robot or else you'd have to leave. Thank you. Wait, wait, I think- I was fucking positive there was a boss fight, because I remember dying to it. I'm just gonna save him here. One time. Unless this- like, I go in here and I fight someone. Let's find out. 
You look tired. Why don't you rest here for a while? I think, yeah, because we have a nightmare? No. You're going to need it. Okay. Did she steal our money or something? Like, what? What was those sound effects? No, we have 808. Yeah. We didn't lose any health or anything. I guess that was beneficial? Welcome, I am the governor of this planet. If you have come so far, please sit. I know why you are here. You've certainly made no secret of it. You're going to kill Lashik. Lashik is a powerful man, no more than a man. No, wait, no, more than a man. He's beyond those constraints now. You're very brave to take him on, but bravery, I fear, will not be enough. Go destroy him. I won't stop you. In fact, I will offer you assistance. A powerful esper named Lutz lives in Mahal Cave, north of here. Take this letter to him. His name is Noah. Lutz, Noah, Tyrone, Odin. Who cares? They're all the same guys. You know, well, not really, but with this help, I have faith that you will succeed. Come back here when you have. Well, come back here when you have. You must be tired from your journey. Why don't you rest here for a while? You fell into a deep sleep. Oh, okay, so this is the boss fight? Yes, Succubus, so it's like a nightmare. I, I remember there being a boss fight. Though this one, I don't think we can win. And it's one of those like, like a bad dream, because there's no way we can kill this thing. Maybe we can. I have a chat with it. No, not meow, god damn it. Yeah, there's no way you'd be able to beat this. No, it's gotta be like a mandatory loss. You know what, maybe I could try to beat it, but... Yeah, it's like, he, he can't even do damage to him anymore once he reaches a certain amount of hit points. We had a bad dream. It was all a dream. Oh, thank God. Return here when you have defeated Lashik. God be with you. All right, okay. Dungeon. All right, let's see. Oh, so there, there's a cave somewhere around here. So we're going to save. Like north over here? No. Hey, do you guys have Scorpiuses too? Oh, to another planet, it's still Scorpius. Go up here. Ah. Uh, Jawas, kill them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Talk? I could really go for some Larma nuts right now. Okay. That was an interesting interaction, wasn't it? <laughs> Where... What about what about this teaser? Can we talk to him? We want to become friends with the Palmans. Okay. So if you didn't know, they're they're peaceful. You don't have to kill them. But this guy's a maniac, so I don't think it'll work. You damn thieves! Oh, okay. I guess we. Okay, sure. Do, 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 do. This is a sandworm though. We can't we can't talk with worms, so we gotta kill it.
Ugh. How many fucking sandworms? Oh, three. And now Meow can actually take a hit. Thank God. Yeah, I think he has the least amount of HP out of all the characters. So getting him that armor was pretty damn good. Like 30 more points of defense. Alright, this I think this is it. Alright, now I think this is What the hell? Okay, hold on. Okay, so this this is the map that screwed me over because it's got like a, a trap. And so there's some items here, but they're not important. They're like um like cola and maceta, so we don't really need that. So I'm gonna try to get to. Uh, to Noah. He's supposed to be Noah, but I guess they translated his Japanese name Lutz instead of uh, giving giving him the localized name. That means if I ever play uh, Fantasy Star 3, they'll call him Noah in that. And again, I think Odin or Tyrone or whatever his name is is also in Fantasy Star 3. I never played Fantasy Star 3, I just know of it. This way. Yahoo! He just replies, Yahoo! <laughs> Tarantula! do that much damage the fucking bats in the last planet were more you know the man bats they were more threatening than this this ain't too bad you never knew it's basic i mean like there's the four games right uh the numbered ones and then there's the fantasy star online games but they take place they have nothing to do with these fantasy stars they're just fantasy star in name like, they're not remakes or anything, but they, they're like their own universe. But Fantasy Star 1 through 4 are all, like, um, connected. At least they all take place in the same solar system. Let me put it that way. They all take place in, like, the Argol system with the three planets. There's also like a Fantasy Star game on the Dreamcast, but that's that's I think that's in the Fantasy Star Online universe. And I could be wrong, but there might be a Fantasy Online Fantasy Star Online release on Steam. That's possible. four uh, numbered fantasy stars, the weakest one is three. Because the teams that worked on one, two, and four were like the A team at Sega. The team that worked on three, I mean, they did the best they could, but you know, the, the difference in ability is pretty, pretty much there. Right now, how the hell? I don't know where I am here. I go... This way. Wait, what? There's a monster I can fight in this dungeon. I don't know if I'm powerful enough to fight it, but it's like a, an optional monster, it seems. Okay. Let's go get uh, Noah first. Or Lutz.
Because I can save in dungeons, so I could save and then see if I could kill the red dragon. But he might be, like, much later in the game. Also, I feel like once we get uh, Lutz, he won't be that powerful. We'll have to level him up. He should level up fast, though. Hmm. Oh, I wonder what new spell she got. Let's see. Rope. Okay, I can get out of a dungeon now, so that's that's pretty good. We'll use Alice's magic when we're not in combat. When in combat, it's better to use uh, Meow's heal or cure spell. Should not go against Lord Lashik. Okay, well, we still aren't having a fight, so that's okay. I talked my way out of it. damn thieves. They just still don't attack us. They just call us thieves and then they leave. Keep going. Okay, he should be here. He just hangs out in a cave. Who are you? I'm trying to train. Don't interrupt me. I guess this would be a good place to train. It does have a lot of monsters. He's like, who are you? I'm grinding. What are you doing? Oh. A little cutscene. You must be Lutz. I have a letter for you from the governor. Would you mind reading it? Why wasn't your name localized to Noah like it's supposed to be? I don't know. Maybe you applied the patch wrong. Let me see that. Oh, I see. So it's coming to this. I apologize for my earlier hostility. Together we must protect Argol from falling into the hands of evil. First we must meet with Dr. Luvino in the Gothic Woods. If I recall, we can get there through a manhole at the Commonant Space Station. Let's go quickly. Manhole, huh? All right. All right, we got Lutz now. <coughs> let, me, let me look at his stats. Does it tell me what level he is? Does he start at level one? He does. So he'll level up super fast. Maybe in like two or three fights, he'll just level up. He'll be at like three levels by the time we get out of this dungeon. No, I can't. I have no items to give him more MP, though, so he's still kind of not really, like, as useful as he should be. And he takes a fuckload of damage, too. He's actually too weak for this dungeon. He has to survive so that he can level up. If he survives this fight, he'll level up. We also gotta get him better armor, too. I don't think he can wear, like, heavy armor. So, I'm gonna do a thing where I save before I buy him armor, and then just, and then see if he can equip it. Because if not, I just waste money. Found my money. Yeah, I don't think we're strong enough to kill that red dragon. I think it's something that we can come back and do. Uh, do I go this way? I'm lost. I forgot. Oh no, it's this way. Okay, I think I know where I am. Shit! Yahoo! Just says Yahoo and then leaves. Burger. Ah, fuck, it was booby trapped? Shit, well, what's the point of that? Now I gotta use the burger. 
that I got to heal. Yeah, you know what? I just remembered. Oh wait, I can't use rope? What does rope do then? Like, rope. Hold on, let me... I'm looking for the manual. I had the manual before, but I, I seem to have lost it. Alright, well, I don't know. Wait, wait, maybe I'll just ask Google. Yeah, Fantasy Star... Rope spell. What the hell does that do? Oh, it, it, it's a paralyzation spell. And it prevents the enemy from acting three turns. Okay, I thought it was a get the hell out of here. I could unequip armor and see if you can equip it too. That's true, I could. I guess we could just find out, huh? Bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, item. Wait, how do I unequip armor? You can't unequip armor. The only way you can equip armor, you know what? You know what I mean? You can replace armor, but if you don't have armor, you can't unequip it. Weird, huh? All right, well. Cause like, you notice how there's no, you don't go to a status and there's an equip menu. You go to item and then you click on the item and then you click equip. Weird. But then again, it's still not that, um, that convoluted. It's not like Dragon Quest where I have to press open or door whenever I go near a door, or like to climb upstairs, I have to go on the stair tile and click stairs or select stairs. So it could be way worse. And also, Dragon Quest 1, I believe, on uh, NES, you can't like, um. Like, you can't, um, just, uh. I lost my train of thought. I'm trying to navigate this maze. <laughs> the Ultima games? I tried to play Ultima 4 once on, on DOSBox. There's an Ultima on the Master System. I think it's Ultima 4. Oh yeah, Dragon Quest, you can't equip items outside of shops. You have to equip them, like, at a shop. That's what I was gonna say. So if I ever play an Ultima game, I really want to play Ultima 7. Right, that's the Ultima game that came out before they shit the bed, right? Like, because like Ultima 8 and Ultima 9, that was after EA bought Origin, I believe, and then that's when the Ultima games became hot garbage. Let's heal up. We know at least has like a ton of health, so. Alright, Core. Do, 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 do. So what does the little speaker mean? Oh. Dee, 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 dee. Let's see, I'm looking at this map here, trying to figure it out. Okay, so you go this way. No. Oh shit, I'm lost. <laughs> That's like the worst feeling in this game where you're like, oh god. I don't know where I am now. Got a new spell though. You want to open it? Yes. Let's see what that spell is that I got. Let me look. Meow. Ter wall. What does wall do? Hold on, let me go look up what wall does. Protective invisible wall that deflects the enemy's physical attacks for a few turns. 
Okay. That's decent. Not bad. Now I gotta figure out where I am. What has... Okay, if... So that's the thing, it's like you try to figure out where you are and then you get into a fucking random battle and then you forget where you are again. Yeah, if I'm correct, this should get me out of here. Alright, yeah, that gets me out of here. Let me save here. Alright, hold on. So, like, one, two, and then it's a secret wall. I'm going through the secret wall so I can get this, uh, this treasure. Not the one that this guy dropped, but there's some treasure over here, so I'm gonna go in here. I go here, there'll be a treasure chest with 2,000 Masetta. Which is significant enough for me to check out. There's also a red dragon, and I don't know if we're strong enough to fight it. I don't think we are, but I'll save and then go and try to fight it, and we'll see if it's, like, high, too high level. Alright, so we got the 2000 Masetta. Or we can get out of this dungeon. Save it right here. We'll go see if we can fight the dragon. Because I can't remember if this is something that you can do now or if you have to come back to do it. Like, I think he's a secret boss. I don't think he's, like, actually necessary. What spells does Let's Know? He just knows fire, okay, so. We'll just have him cast it the entire time. We'll probably get in a couple of uh, more fights before we get there. Maybe one of us will level up, that'd be good. Maybe Lutz. Lutz needs more leveling. If he can get, like, another spell, that'd be great. Please kill him! Thank you! Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Did he learn a spell? No. Oh, that sucks. That does damage to everyone. Literally the cheapest shit. I guess you don't have to open the chest, but, like, you're going to. Be stupid not to. Red dragons over here. We want to become friends, okay. There he is. 175 health, that's not that much. No, we do decent damage. Physical damage, we don't do shit though. Oh, we die in one hit? Yeah, he's too strong. He's clearly too much for us right now. This is, uh... Yeah, he can, he can one-hit us. So we have to come back and fight this guy at some other point.
The journey ends. All right, so continue. What was it, Dunge? It was. Uh, no, not that one. Uh, um, I guess I go this way and then this way. Yeah, okay, this is the right way. Christ, it's murdered? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I fought the red dragon. He kicked my ass, so we're not fighting the red dragon. He's behind this invisible wall. <laughs> or not, or this, like, fake wall. We can come back and fight him later, but I did get the 2000 Meseta that was there. Alright, we got Lutz. He told us to go look at a manhole. So we'll go do that, and we'll go to the Gothic Woods. I... It's funny, like, I'm getting close to where I was the last time I played this game on stream. You saw the 2000 Mr. the dragon fight. Oh, the dragon fight, he one-hit us, and we did, like, nothing to him. So we're clearly not high level enough to even fight him. He might be, like, a bonus dragon, maybe when we come back to this planet later. This way? Oh, they both lead to it, so it doesn't matter, I guess. Hey, what's up, Never Conquer? How are you doing? Good morning to you. Ooh. Oh, it's kind of evening for me, but I guess, you know, like when you work nights. Ah. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I might, I might switch out games, though, like, at some point, um, and play something more action-packed for a bit. On the Genesis... the Genesai. Is this where I need to go? No! Alright, I'm lost. There are no landmarks, so it's like, once I get lost, it's like, well, I just wander around until I see something that's like... Okay, a dead end. And a T-section. Uh, I'm trying to th I'm, I'm looking at the map online, there's a dead end and a T-section. Let me test something. Let me go right. Alright, well, I don't know where I am now. Is this the exit? Shit! You know, a map spell would have been great. Or something, you know? Alright, this might be the exit. I gotta talk to this. You'll get injured if you open treasure boxes carelessly. That's it. Well, I mean, I need money, man. All right, here we go. Here's the exit. Okay, we're out of there. Thank God. We're back to overhead style. A desert leech. Are we strong enough to fight this son of a bitch? We might not be. I might have to start casting spells. It's a decent damage. Uh, yeah, he's he's not he's not that bad. Okay, let's learn the new spell. I wonder what it is. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Stats. Let's. It says fire. That's the only spell. He, what? Learn a new spell. Oh, he can do cure and exit. the hell is up with the status screen not showing me all the spells my, my casters can do? What the... It does a decent 20 damage. wonder how much uh, Masetta we got. It'd be crazy if we had enough to buy that, that armor. Let's look. Stats... 
6,000, no. That armor is like 15,000. Shit, really? <laughs> I've beaten it, yes. Do I need to heal? Nah, I think we're good. Do 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 do. Worm. More worm. Oh, four of them. I mean, three of them. You beat the sandworm. Oh. <laughs> Three more worms. I took two steps. Sandworm has died. Oh, 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 oh. Everyone levels up. Cool. Ah, oh, let's open it. What is that? Money. Oh, what am I supposed to do with that? I don't know. It's son of a bitch. How many fucking? I, I guess. Yeah, the map's really small. Let's have a million encounters. Oh, it was a trap. Cool. Thanks. Does Lutz have enough? Oh, he doesn't. Oh, wow. Okay. Right, that's it. Gotta make it to ten. Shit. Dead. Another spell? I wonder what it is. Let me see. Telepathy? What the hell does telepathy do? Oh, I'm gonna look that up too. See if I can find the manual again. <laughs> okay, all right, here's the Internet Archive. Okay, alright, so... 
Hold on a second. Let me just put this over here. Okay. All right. So here's the manual. Let's. Command, max HP, combat, armor. Okay, spells. All right, all right, spells. Telepathy used by Noah. Like chat allows you to talk with some characters. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> all right, okay, whatever. Oh, let me just bloop. Like, okay, so it's it's just another way to chat with the enemy? I'm just doing... Okay, there we go. Alright. Uh, hey, let's save. Oh, wait, no, we're so close to town. We'll save in town. I'm not dying right before we get into town. That'd be weird. Alright, made it. Now we're gonna save. I'm not gonna go through that one dungeon just to heal, so... How much... How much cash do we have? We got like... 7,000? What was this guy selling over here? A tool shop. We sell nothing but tool albums, okay? It's like, oh, well, good day then. Fuck tool. Selling that Laconian pot. Oh, he made a fortune selling pot. Good. I guess it was worth more than the billion he was asking for the cat. Oh, here we go. Here's the armor shop. Ah, okay, yeah, no. Yeah, we don't have anywhere near enough to buy that. Do you have passport? Okay, go through. See you. Have a nice day. Do, 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 do. Oh, damn! That sound. Every time. Da 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, so we gotta go in the manhole, but I'm gonna go uh, get us fully healed. I guess I could also check, um, the weapon shop. I could buy another ceramic sword and give it to, uh, Odin. What is this? Is it this one? Yep! It says armor shop, but he sells weapons. Alright, yeah, we'll do that. got that um what shield ceramic shield i think odin doesn't have the ceramic shield no he's got the bronze shield i don't think lutz can even use a shield he uses like canes and shit yeah, let's sell i mean i guess i could see if lutz can equip the titanium sword i mean why not right i have it I don't think he can, but who knows? Oh, no, he can't, so we sell it. It's, we don't need it anymore. Titanium sword. Just 160. I, yeah, it was only like 300, so I guess that is like half price of that. All right, fine. I don't think we can get in random encounters as long as we're in the wall. Let's go check out the armor here. I think he sells shields. Yeah, so we can get a ceramic shield.
Does Odin have the, um... Yeah, he has Zirconia mail. Whip shield to Odin. Uh, what else can I... Okay, so let's see if, um... Let's can equip the shield. No, he can't, yeah. Typical mage, he can't equip anything. Is this the tool shop? Brawn shield. Cool. Alright, so that's pretty much all I need to buy. I mean, I could try to buy the light suit and see if Lutz can equip it. Oh, here, let's save here first, and then we'll go over there, and then we'll see if he can equip it or not. But I gotta go buy it, but it's not a lot. I don't think he can equip Zyconia Mail, though. This one? Yeah, it's this one, okay. I mean, I could just take the, the money hit, too. Uh, Alright, let's see. Light suit. No, he can't equip it. Alright. Well, we know that now. Alright, let me hit reset here. Let me check out some of this stuff. Uh, options. Oh, wait. Option. So, got the world, Mega Keong. We got the Yamaha thing. Oh, we don't got a BIOS, though. Should I? Nah, there's no reason to use it. You know what? Let's have it so we can have the cool startup. Yeah. Why not? Even though the bio. Well, let's see. Will it affect it? Okay. You can hear the old sound. Okay, that's still where I wanted. Okay, so let's continue. Did I save in two or one? Oh, it looks like I saved in one. Oh, we got the, the sound capture popping. I might switch it to another game now, like... Because I gotta restart the capture again anyways. But we made it this far in Fantasy Star, so that's not too bad.